Well, anyway, welcome everybody. Uh, today is going to be an interesting day. I'm not streaming this session because my internet's fucked, but I seem to be able to do at least enough to play Final Fantasy XIV. But every, but if every zone transition takes 30 seconds, that's why. Because <laughs> the loading screens are bad. But I can't load web pages right now, so I'm not even going to try streaming. Uh, so that's why you're watching Andrew's stream if you're watching this live. And that's why the load screens are forever if you're watching this not live. And uh, that's also the explanation for any other problems that happen right now. Let's talk to let's talk to Batteron. But I can't select. Wait a sec. Oh, I'm not, I'm not. <laughs> you gotta put your my, yeah, my you put your was... knuckles down, man. You about to fucking punch there we go. him in the face. I, I, I eventually got to him. Was somebody play, was somebody voicing Batteron? I think it was you. Uh, shit. Uh, let's find out. I think it was a pirate accent for this guy. I, just I can't. That I can't part. do pirate accents. It's probably a shitty Irish accent or something. You're you the one who's reading it. <laughs> yeah. You ready to hear about that job then? Like I said, the request comes out from our sister guild in Gridania. And that's all I know. But whatever it is you asked to do, I somehow doubt it posed any trouble for adventurer as your se or adventurer as survived the bedlam as Satasha. <laughs> I hate that sentence. <laughs> what? If you think you uh, might be interested, you'll want to have words with Mother Mjorn. <laughs> they can't about good in here. These uh, fucking names. Good luck, mate. I, it's so hard to read this dialogue. <laughs> They're trying to do a voice, but without the voice yeah. acting, you don't know really going in what the voice is going to be, so you just kind of trip you're, on you're it and stuck. fall on your face. Yeah. All right, where the hell are we going? Gridania? For an adventure yeah, that Gridania. survived the bedlam such as you. I'm like, what? <laughs> we're going back to Gridania, so we're warping again? Uh, uh, this way. I guess we're going to the lit. Oh. Bye. Oh, okay. I mean, it's... We, Keith's it's gonna, Keith how, is paying our way. Oh, hey. How, how else do you <laughs> yeah, want to go okay, there? Then. The long way or something? Uh, but you could go airship? to the... Yeah, you can go to the airship. Ew. But, okay. I, I, <laughs> if you're willing to pay, I don't care. Oh, hey, would, this means I can real would, quick uh, it's like, pick up uh, archery and other things <laughs> while we're here. It's like World of Warcraft. Like, who the fuck's gonna wait for the Zeppelin if they don't have to? <laughs> you just sit yeah, there for ten fair. minutes. It's like, wow, I love how this takes forever for no reason. It's called immersive. Like, no, Keith. we take those Zeppelins once, and then we permanently have access to these places and never do it again. Yeah, you, what, you what? seem you seem to think we're on an RP server where immersion matters. Yeah, are we not? Is this not an MMORPG FPS battle soul? It's a Mopager. <laughs> Alright, who's Mother Mune? Not it. Uh, Mother I don't do female fillet, voices very fillet, well. fillet mignon. Take a seat wherever you like, friend. Our waitresses will come to take your. Oh! Not here to dine. Dare I hope that you're the adventurer Badron sent word about? You are? The matron be praised! Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Muane. Mi Mio Mune. Mion? 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 Mion. Moo. And <laughs> Mio. And the Carlene Canopy is my place. With regard to the task in question, there is a fair bit to tell. Let me know when you're ready to hear the details and I shall brief you. Complete. As Andrew dun, 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 dun. I'm oh, probably good. gonna be slightly behind because I did not realize that the crafting would take up my recipe. Yep, <laughs> it does. Oh, you have to be careful. Uh, a... Yeah, I didn't realize well, that. It's fine. I think we're always gonna beat storylines before we're actually at the intended level for them. So yeah, I mean, I mean, I, 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 mean I think we're like I, I mean, the opposite actually. I mean, I mean, I think we're always gonna out level the storylines and then have to catch up by finishing the story so we get to the next region. So I don't think we have to worry about experience that much. <gasps> I don't have any food. Yeah, we're already like way ahead. Oh, cutscene. In level. Cutscene? Oh, shit. Yeah, cutscene time. Ready for that briefing? Good. Now then, here's the long and short of it. Beg pardons for interrupting. Or oh, who's that? Wait, that's someone else. Uh, uh, we'll Let find Lewin, out when we see the person. Apparently. Beg pardons for interrupting, Mune, but our need grows ever more pressing. Have none stepped forward? Watch this be a laugh just, yeah. Is walking in. Ah, and good evening to you, Bow Lord. Your your need must Bow be pressing Lord. indeed. Bow Lord, no, Bow Lord. Baylor. 
the conqueror. <laughs> you need, uh, your need must be pressing indeed for you to honor us with a visit. The good news is your journey hasn't been wasted. I'm pleased to report that we have a volunteer at last, and one who comes highly recommended at that. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna go with Bo. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Maybe he likes to bow. <laughs> My thanks for answering the call, friend. My name is Lewin, and I lead the men and women of the God's Quiver. You see, you quiver when you bow. It's so committing to the alternate explanation. Jesus. <laughs> now, time is of the essence, so I shall proceed directly to the heart of the matter. We wish for you to nip a potential threat to Gridania in the bud. Beneath the central shroud, there lies an underground burial site called the Tam Tara Deepcroft. The place was once a Gilmorian settlement, but we Guardians have long in interred our dead there. Of late, however, shadowy figures have been skulking about the Deepcroft with ever increasing regularity. Based on the accounts of various witnesses, we suspect that these individuals belong to the Lambs of Dalamud, a doomsday cult which sprung up prior to the Calamity. These zealots have proven themselves dangerous in the past, and we leave them to their own device uh, to, to their own devices at our peril. Ordinarily, I would have dispatched my best men to scour the deep croft with orders to flush the cultists out. Alas, the calamity decimated our ranks, and the limited forces at my disposal are constantly required to keep the Ixel at bay. The birdmen have grown restless of late, and I fear a storm what may be brewing. In anticipation to this, I have compelled uh, to spread our forces throughout the Twelve's Wood, lest we be taken unawares. Because it's the God's Wood. Because <laughs> it's Twelve Gods. Mm. The situation so being, we must turn to the others to deal with the Lambs of Dalamud. Can we rely on you to undertake this task, friend? Obligatory nod. You have my gratitude. Yes, man. Once you've seen our... Once you've seen to your preparations, pray make your way to the Deepcroft and identify yourself to the guard posted at the entrance. He will apprise you of the latest developments. That is all. Be careful out there, you hear? May the crystal guide you and keep you. All right. We did it. Onward! To the woods! Instance, to the please. Woods. <laughs> To the, to the woods. We still have, to the woods. We've still done very little in these new zones. Yeah, we still need, I still need to pick up uh, leatherworking from around here, I think. Leatherworking, uh, botanist, yeah. I think, are here? Uh, leatherworking, botany, and woodworking. Hey, mapping the realm. Ba -ba -da. I leveled up from loading this zone. <laughs> Sweet. <laughs> Is this the actual? Oh, yep, yeah, there it is. All the way down Fuck there. Fuck you, actually. squirrel! Oh, oh my god! <laughs> wow, so violent. Yeah. Fuck them. These are level ones. Yeah. Fuck them. Unnecessary. <laughs> they know what they did. You know what we need, though? We need mounts. One day. Uh, someday. Yep. One day we'll We're all have there. a cool Cadillac from Rogue Squadron and fly around in it. It's not lost Had on me that Final Fantasy XV's vehicle is just the vehicle from Rogue Squadron. No, the vehicle from Rogue Squadron was a Buick. Remind yourself. Was it? Yes. I just I, wasn't uh, like a, I thought it was like a Cadillac nope, or something. It, I don't remember. Nope, it was a black Buick. Um, I know it, because I looked it up because someone in your in the comment section was like, "I don't think Keith is telling the truth." I was like, "Here's the Wikipedia link." Yeah. Oh, they didn't, they didn't think it was real when I talked about there being a flying car in Rogue Squadron. <laughs> Yeah, because they're like, I own the game, and I have never seen that mentioned ever in my entire life. I was like, here it is. <laughs> Somebody didn't grow up with strategy guides. <laughs> he said he had a cheat book. So. Oh. He didn't read it very well. His, no, I guess his cheat book lied to him. That was half the fun when you were cheats. a kid, was just like, what weird dumb shit can I have? It's like, oh, the blue striped car with a machine gun and Edge in of Empires? Yes. Yeah, I did that for, uh... How do I turn this it? on? <laughs> what was the Star Wars, uh... Uh, Battlefront, was Battle, Star Galactic Battlegrounds was the Age no, of Empires not, style Star Wars game. No, the other one. They had the Star Wars game that was like uh, Destruction Derby. 
where you're like just going in an arena oh, trying yeah. to kill the other it player. It was Twisted Metal. Uh, yeah, it was like yeah, Twisted Metal. I had that. Uh, that was I had that for the Dreamcast. It's fantastic. I had Twisted uh, Metal. I had Jedi Power Battle, Super Bond Bad Racing, Phantom Menace. I had so many Star one, Wars games growing up. That's, that Star Wars game had also good cheats in it that you could get. Uh, you could get Luke Skywalker's stupid fucking car from the first movie. Like the the speeder. <laughs> yeah, the little speeder. It sucks. It's like a two seater. It's like I'm brown and red. I know what you're talking about. I was an NES kid. <laughs> so, well, I mean, we're talking about. I mean, eventually you played other things. <laughs> yeah, did you not? Yeah, I, did you not I have never. Consoles? I was playing. I was, play, I, I was I, playing. Um, I played the NES until Overwatch came out. That was my second video yeah. game. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah, no, it was uh, the NES uh, followed by the Super Nintendo followed by the N64. Ooh, this looks like an instance. I, I was uh, mostly retro stuff until I got a PS2. So. Didn't have a copy. It was PS1. PS1 and Dreamcast had the the Star Wars game on it. Who wants to be Generic Boy? Hold that on, doesn't even fighting. have a real name. You're the hero, I take it. Thanks for helping us out, friend. No doubt the Bogler has already informed you, but your task is to enter the Deep Croft and purge it of the, lam the lambs of Dalamud. In case you're unfamiliar with them, the cult emerged shortly before the Calamity put an end to the Sixth Astral Era. The cultists took the lesser moon, Dalamud, for their god, believing it would d deliver them from the devastation. To protect the world from devastation! Uh, so they were rather disappointed when Dalamud exploded into a thousand flaming pieces before it could complete its descent. Now, having seen their god turn to ash, one would think the cultists might feel moved to question their faith. On the contrary, it only served to stoke the flames of their fanaticism. Unite all people within their nation. <laughs> The Lambs of Dalamud are convinced that heretics, that is to say, everyone but them, interfered with the with the coming of their lord and savior, and that it's now their sacred duty to avenge them. Whatever it is they're doing in the Deep Croft, you may, uh, you may be sure that no good will come of it. For the sake of Gridania, and Eorza as, as large, uh, put an end to their madness. The Tavatara Deep Croft now... Yeah, more instances! Yep. More instances! How do we... How do we, uh, go to the go to the entrance right here. What do we what do we do when we don't have a full party? It'll find somebody for us. Ooh. So join just click deep croft and join. Does it bring you with yep. us? Yep. We're all mm -hmm. registered. And so now we just have is to that, wait for a is healer. That is that the duty roulette? E uh <laughs> sort of. That is the screen you can go to to and to do the duty roulette. But uh It's gonna RNG us a friend. What's that like? Ooh. Ooh. You mean the and game can force us to have friends? This is a good sign, Andrew. Is it working? I pulled out my weapon and I'm mashing right on the D-pad and it's just cycling between three fireflies. And you, even though you guys are both in my cone, presumably, right now. Yeah. Oh, yeah. There now there's only one firefly and it won't let me change targets with, with the right on the D-pad. Yeah, then up and down changes between you. For me, that was Mine's the most still... intuitive. For me, the most intuitive, straightforward thing they could do was just make it so that left and right selects enemies based on what direction you're facing, and up and down selects allies and yourself by cycling through your party list. Like that, just that, that's such a simple, clean system. I don't know how it's so complicated. <laughs> I feel like that's all they had to do, and the whole thing would have been set. But I may, I may have finagled it to work that way now. So that's good. I think it's the filter. I think the filter is what you have. Uh, yeah. Commence. That could... Commence. I think we're... Yeah, let's go. Yeah, 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 and yeah. We're off. Light party. Well, good. I'm glad we all packed light. Those enemies were giving us 10 experience. <laughs> I mean, you say we all packed light, and then we all look over at Keith, who is the chonkiest out of all of us. I'm wearing the least clothes. Yeah, he's the least. And I don't even have a, <laughs> And I punch things with my bare hands. Which yeah, may, but it's which not may bear some resemblance to actual bare hands. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> it was less about gear and more about chunk. Uh, I forgot to put that in party. Dang it. You forgot to put that in party? What'd you do? I was trying to say hello to somebody and I forgot to put it in party. Because I'm a rude. Damn. There we go. Now I'm not a rude. Let's Ack. do it. 
Ack Enoch Varlet. <laughs> How dare you? <laughs> Oof. Oh, I may have pulled aggro. Oh. <laughs> I attacked, and now they're focused on me. Yeah, That's they're fine. focused on me. There we go. Yeah, we're fine. They're very low level. Yeah. What yeah, levels are Rando? Level. Oh, she's actually the right level. Uh, she's Keep probably in mind, level we get lock. level. We get dropped down to the appropriate level. Yeah, but she's the right level. Oh no, she is actually the right level. Yeah, oh we're level locked down to 19 from 23, but she's actually oh, 16. I didn't see that. Okay, then I'm gonna be a little bit more careful. I'm sorry, girl, I didn't realize. Yep. Our healer is, uh, not very high level. I guess, is it is it because she's probably leveling an alt class, so she didn't have to do all the story to get here? Uh, possibly, yeah. Uh, I was like, if she's 16 I, and doing this dungeon, yeah, probably. Because I'm like, how did she get here at such a low level? Because we've been we've been doing minimum content besides the hunting log, which isn't that much experience. It's definitely not like eight levels of experience. The stun that monks get is very useful for when you're trying to fight someone that's actually locked onto you, because it lets you. It lets you stun them and then then do an actual correctly positioned attack. Those flies give me trouble. What's going on up here? I really hate that there's not a. Uh... Eventually, it's not I'll... like a really. It's not a good aggro meter, and I wish there was a way I could like yeah. see all of the enemies in their aggro states. A lot of interface is kind of minimum, despite how much yeah, there yeah. is. Despite it all, uh, eventually I'll have a buff that helps you out. Oh, because one of the thing for the one of the bullet points about the monk class was that uh, they're one of the DPS that actually helps their allies. Uh, oh, you're right. I don't have tank stance on. Oopsie. That would explain a lot. Yeah, that would explain a lot. But, uh, yeah, because uh, unfortunately, it's just, yeah, the aggro meter is not uh, not that great. When your healer knows your class better than you. <laughs> you really have no idea what level people are in this game. This is like, I'm leveling my 17th class. But uh, there's like a Zenyatta thing going on with monks where they, they amplify physical damage on their opponent. So at some point I'll have that. Oh, that that's nice. Where you have to wait for mana. And then I'll be helping out my out. friends. You gotta be careful of your spells. Oh my god, you're super out of mana. What the fuck? Yeah, yeah. it's not regenerating very quickly at all. There we go. No. Oh. Well, you need to have a refreshing drink of this w cursed well. No. Nope. You know, I'm immediately well, thinking of. Uh, will that the fix third your mummy shit? Movie. Is it the third mummy, mummy movie that has the uh, fountain of youth? What are, you, what are you guys doing? Uh, I don't know. Mount of, Mount of, Fountain of Youth's in a lot of things. There's a Jackie Chan movie where you're, uh... There's water that makes you thirsty. <laughs> that, was, <laughs> that was a really dumb movie. Do you, see, do you remember that one? <laughs> yeah, at the beginning wanna... of the... At, it was, he was like a secret agent, Jackie Chan. And at the beginning of the movie, the, the villain has somebody that they want to get rid of drink water. And he's like, wow, water that makes you thirsty. You're, you're a genius. But then it keeps getting worse and worse, and he literally turns to dust. <laughs> like he collapses on the ground, and the villain like grabs his arm and like ri and and rips it off and like splits the hand in half, and it's just like it looks like the inside of a vacuum, <laughs> or it's just like gross dust bunny garbage, and that was his body. All right, you guys ready? Yep, 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 yep. Ready as I'm gonna be. Cross the line. Oh wait, we did. Care of these ads. Gonna go ahead and sleep the ads. I'm fucking him up. Wait, did we already kill the boss? Huh? Oh, that's no. the real boss was spawning. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, wait, the guy on the stairs is dead? I didn't even hit him yet. 
He died all, fast. That was all ad focused. I think stuns work. Oh, stun has no effect. Damn it. Uh, stun does have an effect. You, it just doesn't do anything if he's not doing an attack. Oh, it doesn't just cause no. a flat interrupt of everything where you just can't do any actions nope. for a few seconds. No, oh. stun uh, specifically is for when orange attacks on the ground. Oh, so some enemies can be immune, but so that's stun, mostly stun, the purpose. stuns are only interrupts in this game. Basically. Oh. Uh. I've been using it wrong the whole time. Uh. Disciple of War. Yeah, those are all bonus stats, so I guess need. There's no difference in culture with need and greed and stuff, right? Yeah, no. Uh, shit. Ah, character. Recommended gear. Ah, my arms look different. <laughs> How will I cope? My glamour. Actually, these don't look you that weird. Work. They're just the wrong color. You have to wait to reapply it. I've the got like they're, they're like palm to elbow leather sleeves, which isn't that isn't actually off brand for this character's costumes. They're just they're just not purple. I've been dying all my leather purple. Oh, it's a pretty easy die to get to. Oh yeah, no, it's just right there in the store. That was the path yeah. of choice. See, I just, I just stunned that guy and it, and it did a stun on him. Uh, hey, she, did he I have just, his cast bar going? I don't think so. I think it just makes him not do any actions for a few seconds. I think it might work the way it does in a while. Because specifically, when I click hit, hit these guys with stuns, it's like, plus stun. And when I hit the gargoyle, it's like, the stun has no effect. Uh, maybe it was because I also I just stunned him. Oh. That might be it. What's the description for stun? None. Cool. It just says stun's target. <laughs> it doesn't try to explain what stuns are. Yeah, you cool. have to look up online, which you don't have. For reasons. Ooh, that's a new ability I didn't have before. Wait. Oh, I, oh, I forgot to do beetles. Beetles! What? <laughs> oh. Explosion. Of I didn't have my, my armor thing on. So I, I, I guess I just got faint, which lowers the enemy's strength and dexterity by 10% as a cooldown. And I already had they, one of my first abilities was life leech. I can That's just turn nice. on, I can just toggle on a life leech every like 90 seconds or so, I think. Uh, yeah, every 90 seconds I get 20 seconds of life leech. Remember some... that getting loot is not bad because you can throw it into your armory and use it Pretty as good glamour shit. later on. And it's really good to have a lot of glamour because you need to use it if you want to farm for gil or farm for uh, MGP. Is that what you greed can do, is... the... do you greed glamours usually? I greed everything. Or no, oh. I, uh, yeah, uh, yeah, I do greed everything. That is greedy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Because uh, mind, that need I... still takes precedence. Yeah. yeah, need still takes precedence, but if nobody wants it, I'll take yeah. it because I so can use it, it for a So glamour. it's just the same system from WoW? Yeah. Basically. It, it rolls all the people that roll need against each other, but then instead rolls greed if no one rolled need. Correct. I fainted him for no reason. Hooray. Taught him a lesson. I have no idea how much damage our party is doing collectively. <laughs> Uh, we're not striker bad. Skirt. I mean, we're getting through, and our healer that's isn't running shit. out of mana, so that's a good sign. Yeah. No, I mean, uh, like, uh, yes, right? just talking about that idea of, like, we have, there's no way to tell, like, how good anyone's doing at the DPS. Like, am I playing my class right? Who knows? You can't right, trick me. This is it. the same fight again. Uh, what? No. <laughs> Never. Who would do such a thing? It's done. Who would go online and post lies on the internet? Definitely not every troll ever. No. I don't know what you're talking about. Uh. 
I always wonder about stuff like that on like kid shows when there's really dumb dialogue. Is that on purpose? Did someone like think about the dumb dialogue out loud before <laughs> they did it? Do you think someone would do that? Just go online and tell lies? That's such a great line. What like a like how can you say that seriously? I can't remember what that's even like from. Like MP Arthur. Oh, is it? Yeah. It's the, yeah, because it's when they learn about the internet. And it's like, you oh. got to be careful. The internet has lies. Like, you would think someone would do that? Just go on the internet and lie? <laughs> it's like, yeah, yeah, dude. I don't think I've ever it's watched the fucking internet. I think I've actually never watched Arthur. I watched, I, I, okay, well, that's because we just kind of missed it at our age, uh, our age group. Arthur was, oops. Uh, oh, I'm a dummy. I should have. Like, I, like I, I, I watched a lot of cartoons when I was pretty old, but that's not not that not that kind. <laughs> not the ones for I, tiny babies. Not the ones for tiny babies. Not hey, the ones Ar for Arthur, tiny babies. Arthur, Arthur's tiny for like... Babies. I think it's like a four to... Four, four to classes. ten? I'm not allowed to... I'm not allowed to need the, br the bristlets. That's weird. Yeah, I'm not allowed to need anything in here so far. You're not allowed to need anything? Uh, I haven't been able to, nope. Spooky. Stick bug! Your legs are easy to break. <laughs> oh. But I only got eight of them. Oh god, it's got a horrible mouth. Oh no. Yeah. It's basically like a daddy long legs, but big. <laughs> but more, you know, demonic. Harvestman. Come with me if you want to live. Oh, that's a lot of stickies. Come, my lady. Come, come, my lady. Oh, that's a big cone. To not stand in. I've got to stop. I keep forgetting to stop to stop his attack. I'm a bad person. I'm yep. a bad... No. How do you flank a swarm? <laughs> uh... Only bad questions. I've stunned the swarm. <laughs> That's more confusing. Yeah, it's like an EMP with my foot. <laughs> you can't fall off, right? No. No. I'm like, I'm the, in risky territory. That guy just did a fucking uh, meet the Jets, like fucking George Jetson sound effect. Did you hear that? No, that was, uh, that was uh, Effie. Yeah. When he casts sleep on something, yeah, it makes the. <laughs> it, looks like, it sounds like something from the Jetsons. <laughs> it's such an old timey sound effect. Yeah. Hey man, oh, it had, had to have been like. Classics. It had to have been one of those free sounds, like royalty free. Yeah. Well, yeah, I think a lot of those are just yeah, they're just stock noises. Oh, he was sleeped, and now he's not. Is sleep an AOE? Yes. Ah. Yeah. God. Even you cast a network of hexagons. It's hexagons all the way down. Goodbye, yeah, yeah. sir. I've been I've been mixing up which attack is the flank and which one's the rear. Whoops. There's a treasure chest in here, guys. I keep doing them in the wrong order. <gasps> Treasure! Let's fuck up some fireflies. Sleep. This person's probably like, oh my god, they're going to every treasure chest. God. Yeah. <laughs> hey, they're gonna they're gonna level up. They've gained two levels so far. I've gained one. That's true, I guess. We're power leveling Yuki. That yeah, is we're her here real for name. <laughs> Probably is. We're such heroes. Plunder I mean, came. that is that is what the plot tells me. Cast and your I lot. Am... Oh, it's a boss chamber. All right, never mind. Never mind. We'll kill these bottom feeders. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
rude. They're just your average hard-working Eorzean trying to get by with a day's wage and a hurt back. <laughs> Nobody wherever, pays wherever, these things. Wherever their back is. <laughs> no one can tell. I can. <laughs> <laughs> you may have not noticed, but your brain did. <laughs> not this. I got one of those floating barriers. Get pick them up at the IKEA, set them up. Takes a few hours. Realize you have the wrong number of screws. Start over. Been three hours in customer support, but at the end, it's you hard. got a big floaty barrier. So that's Start fun. Start over. What? <laughs> Start over. We have to like unlock the barrier over here. Yeah, we have to do the cultist rosary. Oh, that sounds nice. <laughs> yeah, it's a rosary. Oh, oh lord. Interrupt. Thank you. Oh, oh, there's more. <laughs> They're not happy with me. There we go. I kind of had like a Freak. moment where I had to recognize the fact that like you kind of think of MMOs as like monotonous and not all that like complex in their combat even though they kind of are like wildly complex. Yeah. Yeah. And like specifically in like the uh it came to, it came to mind in terms of like the the old republic the MMO. Like the idea of like, oh man, it's like you take the you take the KOTOR experience and you water it down for an MMO. And then I then I went back and actually played the original KOTOR and I'm like, I'm pressing one button every fight. Because <laughs> Ko the KOTOR combat design is basically built around specializing in one type of attack, feet, button, and just matching that in every fight. <laughs> like, you, like, I want to be really good at flurry, and then you just do flurry every fight, continuously and endlessly, and that's just the entire game. So suddenly, thank you the, for the sleep. That was really useful. Su suddenly, the WoW clone version yeah, of oh, Old Republic uh, is like actually way more involved to play. And by comp and in a similar way, like even though there's like repetition to it and so on, like there's kind of more to the moment-to-moment -moment gameplay in this than there is in like Final Fantasy 15, the mainline game. Yeah. The yeah, there is. So in a weird way, like, if you're here for the gameplay, of all things, the MMO is actually the place to go than the actual mainline games, where the gameplay is kind of, kind of, uh, and it's supposed to be an excuse just to get to the story, but then also the story was bad? Whoops. <laughs> mm. They fucked that up. <laughs> oh. Treasure. Acolyte's skirt. Where did you get that? You've been I in the Acolyte's chambers focus. again? <laughs> Nope. No, I can't submit my vote. <laughs> Hopefully this cutscene's not five minutes long. <laughs> <laughs> I uh, wouldn't put got, it past Square. You've got time, don't worry. Who summons me from the void Mind residue? Player. It went away too fast. <laughs> Shit. We're gonna have to worry about that during wow. cutscenes. So, uh, that's actually an upgrade for me. We're gonna have to worry about that during uh I'll probably just jump for it during during story okay. missions. Okay, so the way that this boss works is that there's gonna be guys that are gonna go towards him. He's gonna like Kai's like zombies are gonna crawl towards this guy. Get rid of those zombies before they reach him, or else it will be a bad time. Ooh, it's like Got the up. it's like the Waycrest Manor blob man that eats everything. Basically, yeah. Uh, so yeah, just focus on making sure that those guys die. I will make sure that fucking Squidward over here will be taken care of. So let's go. Right. 
<laughs> Yuki's like, what are we waiting for? <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, Yuki, I was explaining. How dare you? And if you want, if you want, Effie, call out when you see a zombie, because you have the best vantage point. There, there's an imp. Get it. Ah, I, oh, shit. Uh, there he is. He's invulnerable until the imp's taken care of. Oop. Yeah. I have reduced his strength. That's my, oh, no. that's my one trick. <laughs> That has now worn off. 90 seconds of recharge. Okay, there are a couple of zombies, or skeletons rather. And a spider, and I guess? Left. Yeah. We need to get rid of this imp or I can't attack him. Are the imps what you were talking about when you said zombies before that he, he no, eats? No, I, I forgot the first phase. Sorry. There's like a bunch of other so things that he also summons. Yeah. Not right now, game. Oop, he fully resisted my stun. Oop. Yeah, bosses tend to be really uh, anti-stun. Oh god. All right. Two imps. Get rid of Skeletons. these imps. Oh, maybe I mistook this. For a completely different boss fight. No, I thought I. I'm. I'm pretty sure I'm good. Oh god, I'm gonna fucking die though. Uh oh. No, it's fine. Come on, go to sleep. Don't die. It's very bad for you. Your pancreas will not survive. And also other parts you of you. Don't select knackle. Damn it. Ah, in this, yeah, long, in this longer fight, my selection system is falling apart <laughs> for some reason. Oh. It's starting to select just random things. I'm like, no, incorrect. Oh, God. You might have accidentally changed the focus for the filter. But you'll never know because your health bar isn't there. Whee! Yeah, I, maybe I was wrong? Yeah, I just. Yeah. Unless I nerfed him. No. Like the two years ago version of WoW, where I every thought... single vanilla boss has no mechanics anymore, and you just kill them. <laughs> oh, da, you know da, what? Da, I, da, think, da. I think there's another. Oh, oh. I think there's another instance in this exact same building with the exact same layout, and it's a different boss fight. Oh, or they just reuse it? Yeah. Because, yeah, that I, I do remember a boss in this room that does... That's why there's, like, the symbols on the ground over there. It's because that's where the portals open up. Um, Disciple of Magic. Poopy butts. And then uh, some sort of actual weapon. Ew. <laughs> Get out of here. Disgusting. Player commendation. Commend the player who left a positive impression upon you. Sure, why not? She did it. I guess I'm gonna yeah. leave now. She deserves it. She's gonna get three accommodations. She's gonna be like, wow, everybody loved me. <laughs> Yay! I didn't see how to do it. I didn't bother reading it. It was just like a pop-up oh. in the bottom right. Yeah, there's a thing in the bottom right you can click on. Uh, so I went with it. And uh, after every dungeon, you'll see it. If we're in a group with people that we don't know um you can go at the very bottom they'll be like oh hey i remember panda yep it says he's to here it says to return oh, to Mune. yep oh. let's head back and we also invite beetles panda. beetles oh it's the hard version of the dungeon beetles. damn it i knew i knew it's so oh. hard to keep track of that so you do them again with new mechanics oh, later God. I got like, yeah. like like mythic dungeons. That's fine. Just bring them over here. What am I doing? Uh. uh if you could add Panda to the group, I guess. Uh, I was traveling around with this once before. 
I'm sorry. What are those pants that you're oh, wearing right now? What the fuck is that? Yeah, no, he's he's styled up. He looks like a character from the bouncer, but furry. Oh my god, those <laughs> pants are amazing. They're like checkered. <laughs> It makes me. I, I, one of the one of the, thing, one of the thoughts I had when I was making this character is like, seeing the the build this character has. I'm like, can I just dress like Volt? Can they let me dress as Volt Kruger, please, from the Bouncer? It's a Square Enix game. Oh. You, you know what I'm talking about, right? He's even got a no catchwar yeah. jacket, which fits the universe. You I wanna, might. I'm fashionable. You might be able to. He's got. He's got. Uh, those. He's got those like piercing. Those, those horn piercings on his forehead. Uh, a bunch of piercings everywhere. A studded leather jacket that has a no cactuar symbol on the back. Like, that would fit. <laughs> it's about Make sure the, get this, uh... the norm with the other shit they've added. Oh, the chocobo. Oh, yeah, I didn't grab it. It's, it no, uh, well, the chocobo person, but also the aetherite. That's here. Make sure and touch this big glowing stone. Get uh, it all up in Speaking here. of, we need to go back to there? town. Yeah, that's yeah, why gotta, I said grab it. Ethan, gotta man. go back to Milan. Play Milan. Tune to this. Oh, wee. And then teleport back to New Gradania. And then switch my lazy gloves back to being correct. <laughs> yes. That's the first oh. time I've been able to receive it, I think. Panda's got something to deliver to you. Oh, speaking of, I need... Is there anything I don't have? Uh, character. Uh, I'll be I still need... I'll be loading for the next three years. Botanist and Leatherworker, I think, are both here, right? Yep, I need Leatherworking and Botany. Uh, where is... Yep, Leatherworker's here. I think Worker's they're both here. in Old Gridania? Yeah. They're in the oldie, but the goodie, there don't go. you? I'm purple again. All is right in the world. Welcome back to purple. Real quick. What is this? Are we are we old enough for retainers? Koopo shoes. <laughs> I mean, punching gloves. Probably yes. Uh, you have not received approval to hire retainers. Ah. I don't remember where the quest yeah, is. Oh, emote. Uh. How do I emote? Yeah. Select them, press X, and it will bring up an option to emote. Yeah, no, I was, I was going all the way to the menu. Uh, we've got new costumes, Andrew. Oh. Where are you? Well, let me just finish my fuck? crafting and I'll show you. Okay, first of all, wow. That's uh, I mean you're that you're almost there now. If it just said no cactar, you'd be set. Yeah, the, the, the whole boxing hooded the hooded boxing thing. <laughs> yeah, with the sleeveless boxing jacket. It it feels like a bouncer character, but it oh wait no, it feels like Ko Lefo, but he doesn't have a hood. It's like the midpoint between Ko and Sion. Oh, because Ko's got a yeah. leather vest, but Sion's got a hood. I feel like the only person on the planet that remembers this game sometimes. <laughs> I, I I have literally never heard a single other person talk about the bouncer. It's so fucking weird. <laughs> I'm like Square, give us give us those costumes. It's your game. <laughs> Square's like, wait, what game? We made a what? Win. <laughs> oh my god, I love this little shark pet. Fe, show your costumes so we can move on with our lives. Man, <laughs> I gotta finish crafting, okay? No, you don't. I smack things. You have infinite time the rest of the week to craft and waste your rested XP. You know, that's... <laughs> that's fair. Whoa, 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 sir! <laughs> this is Those a family bullets? establishment. Yeah, that's Effie's new thing. Wait, wait, oh. hold on. It didn't save everything. One second. Oh, no! It didn't save everything! You did Why? it wrong! There whoa. we go. Whoa. Halo sound. You hear that? Halo sound. Yeah. Yeah. You heard that, right? God, what makes that sound in Halo? It's a really specific laser noise. I think it might be the scarab? It's either the scarab or the Spartan laser. Yeah, I think, no, I, I, think, think the, I think the scarab's giant laser might make that sound. Yeah, I think it's a scarab. Yeah. 
Yeah. Oh. Now I'm all set with the proper glamour. It's funny how some of those can stand out so much. Where'd you get all that? Where'd you get those clothes? He just gave uh, it to one of us. Ask Panda. <laughs> he just oh, okay, okay. I thought you crafted them. I was like, did you just card captors of the cloud. Expect the unexpected I now. I probably could. That's awesome. Now you guys look fancy. Yeah, this is probably going to be the permanent glamour that I'm using throughout this entire thing. <laughs> <laughs> you have a poncho well, on. I love it. It's a great poncho. I've got four of them now. Yeah, I've got, that's pretty nice. I've got the stuff that I scrounged up. I've got the panda set. I've got the Chippendales set. And I've got the, uh, my secret reveal. This is oh. my only <laughs> The set that I will not set. show until I'm a monk. No. I pre-selected my monk outfit. <laughs> I don't know if I'll stick oh, to it forever, but it'll, it'll at least feel like the transition to Monk meant something when I have, like, a costume for it. Because the clothes well, they, they show you when you pick your character aren't available to, like, level 70 or 80. <laughs> yeah. Like, that's, like, a lie. Alright. We should probably right. get this. Yep. Yep, Go it's on, been a while. Alright, Andrew, you're up. Again. Waiting for it to load. Ugh. Welcome back, hero! I'm reliably informed that your foray into the Deepcroft was a success! Nor did I expect anything less. Uh, Bader uh, Baderon's ringing endorsement left me in little doubt as to your ca capabilities. Even so, you are to be commended. Bolord Lu Lewin asked me to pass on his thanks. I must say, it's something of a relief to be able to call upon such a capable adventurer. Sadly, death has become an ever more common occurrence within our fraternity of late. Times being what they are, the guild is constantly inundated with petitions, and we are hard-pressed to find enough hands to deal with them all. This means no sort shortage of work for able souls such as yourself. It also provides ample opportunity for the inexperienced to overreach themselves, with predictable consequences. Ah, uh, as if to illustrate the point. Who the Wait, fuck are these? Guys? We have three new characters. <laughs> They're just like throwaway random adventurers. Oh. Avera is gone, and it's all your fault. If it hadn't taken you an age to heal him, he would still be alive. <laughs> I tried. He pulled <laughs> it out of a rage before I could finish the spell. He's, he should have been so hard pressed in the first place. We. We should have done the lightning's burden. Ah, to the nine hills with this pathetic excuse for a party. I'm leaving, and it'd be too soon if I never see your faces again. Goodbye and good riddance. Wow, is this a wow party? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm leaving as well. I doubt this comes as any surprise, but I never liked you. I only suffered for you for your healing, and you couldn't even do that one thing right. Cruel though this might sound, you brought this upon yourself. Oh, and by the ways of some parting advice, get rid of Avir's head. Bury it, cremate it, do whatever the hells you like with it, but for the gods sake, stop carrying it around. It's it's just just get rid of it, alright? What? Dead party why are you carrying around a dead party member's head? Wait, don't leave me alone, please! <laughs> I'm sorry, Avery. Please forgive me. <laughs> what is happening? Right. Scenes like this have all become have become all too common. It makes a dozen times and half as many days. Now you see why I'm grateful for adventurers of your experience. I can send women like you on a mission without worrying that you might not return. Well, not so much at any rate. Speaking of missions, I would entrust you with another. About a bell ago, I have received a message from my counterpart in Uldal. She seeks all the services of a reliable adventurer, and you are nothing if not reliable. Also, that's our home state. Yep. If you think you might be interested in this task, say the word, and I will be glad to share the details with you. The word. Well, we haven't said the word yet. We've just nodded. We, we don't speak. <laughs> we can't we say the speak. word, ever. Supercalifragilisticexpialidocious. You're not helping. Hey, lucid dreaming. I don't know what that is for sure. So you're not adverse to taking a little uh, taking a little trip. Wonderful. 
As I mentioned earlier, the request comes to us from the Adventurers Guild in Udal. Once you arrive, seek out Mama Mamadi, uh, the proprietress of the Quicksand. Think of her as the Sultanate's version of myself. Better. Chances are she'll send you into the midst of danger, but I have every confidence that you will pull through unscathed. Uh -huh. Now off you go, hero, and good luck. Hey, oh. All I can think of that voice is that it's like, it's so close to Mickey. Uh -huh. Yeah. Oh. I mean, it is a very, oh. it, it is a voice that is very effeminate. I'm so glad I can depend, depend on you, adventure. Huh? Oh. That's Sora. That's a looking skill. Oh, we're going back to Ulda. Indeed. Yeah, we're going back home. Well, all so right. Just, well, uh, uh, yeah. travel, return. Wee. Take, oh yeah, right, we yeah, have return. a hearth. Right, we have a hearth. Hearthstone. Whoop. Wow. Hero's about to wow. pay for it. Yeah, I was about to do the same thing. Like, wait, that's our spot. That's home. We's are going home! <laughs> Jesus. What is your, what do you have? What is this quest? Oh. What is this quest? Not, not something we need to worry about? Not right now, no. We can, we can do it later. We're back, Mamodi. We're back. We were only gone for like a couple hours. Andrew, wrong way. Andrew, no. no. Oh, wait. There's another door there. Never mind. I forgot there's another door there. How dare. How oh, dare. Dun, dun. Cheery music. <laughs> was like, I mean, it was, like yeah. it was like island music, I think, I ran by. Oh yeah, the dun 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 Quest complete. Yay! The petitioner ought to be arriving any moment now. God's almighty, another second under the sun, and I would have been sent a fire. A tankard of ale. Oh wait, no, oh, it's Papa Sean, never mind. Oh. Oh, what was his voice? Uh, hey, I'm Walker here. All right. It's so almighty. Another skin under the sun, and I would have been sent a tank of mail if you'd be so kind. You're like so. I think you might, you might have to back up. You're, you're so loud that I think it's trying to kick you off comms uh -oh. when you make noise. Excellent timing, Papa Sean. It just so happens the adventure you'll be handling your petition is here. The one you already know. I guess this is the generic dialogue for if we're not locals. Oh, why if it is my good friend Hero. It does it does my spell well to know that you're the one who will be helping us. Mayhap you'd like to apprise Zev of his mission. He used to be less clown and more like, eh. Yes, of course, the petition in question was submitted by an acquaintance of mine. And, uh, at a major and son's mineral concern. It relates to an unfortunate development at Copper Bell Mines. To be plain, giants have seized control of the place. These giants are the clan known as the Hater. <laughs> he Hecatun. Hecatun Kiers. Hecatun Kiers. Hecatun Kiers. Fearsome then be creatures who were sealed within the deepest depths of the mines during the Begone Thorn Dynasty. Them being called Hecaton is hilarious. I mean, how many tons are they? It's like Hecatons. <laughs> Hecatons, like it's very Californian. <laughs> Alas, it seems they have managed to break through the layer of rock which served to imprison them and now prowl the tunnels where the miners ply their trade. The creatures are justifiably angry about their treatment at the hands of our ancestors and their presence is forced to suspension of all mining activities on the site. So, a slave revolt? You won't... It's no wonder they're angry. Didn't the Thorn Dynasty come to end... Come, come to an end over 300 years ago? You know your history well, my lady. The people of that age used the, uh, the Hekas to work their minds by uh, way of enchanted helms. They were able to bind the ferocious creatures to their will. 
But as is off the way of such tales, these enchantments eventually failed, and the slaves rose up against the masters. I don't like that S word. <laughs> In a desperate bid to contain the unbridled fury of the Hekas, our ancestors introduced a collapse of the mine's lowermost levels. So it was the great giant revolt was ended, buried beneath a hundred thousand tons of rock. Well now, that's got me thinking. I seem to recall there being an article about Copper Bell and the Mithril Eye a fortnight or so ago. They said the mines are being reopened so as to meet the rise in demand for building materials. Like as not, our boys dug a bit too deep and freed the giants. Gods, to think the poor creatures are still alive and kicking after three centuries. That's a long time to nurse a grudge. They must be seething. Indeed, and that makes them a danger to us as uh, uh, to us all. There'll be no mine in a copper bell so long as they remain, for the sake of both peace and prosperity. They must be subdued. This is the task which we would have you undertake. I'll, I'll not deny that the mission will be rife with danger, but our need is great. And so I beg you, put an end to this sorry business. Oh. God's bless you. I feared you might have reservations, you know, killing slaves and all, but I assure you it's for the best. Hmm. In case you don't know, Copper Bell Mines is in western Thanalan. Do take care, you hear? Ah, and one last thing before you depart. An employee of Amanja and Sons is presently at the quicksand. The fellow's name is Painted Mesa, and he knows Copper Bell Mines well. It may behoove you to seek his counsel. <laughs> Papa Sean is sh what? so short, but standing so close to me that I think my chin has to, like, clip through my body in order to nod at him. Yeah. Where are you going, bud? What's up? Uh, it's the guy's right here. He's right here. Where's Pinted Mesa? Right, right here. here. You, oh, sneaky. Alright, I got this one. Looking for Painted Mesa? You found him. So you are the adventurers who volunteered to, to deal with the mess down in Copperbell, are you? You've got guts, mate. I just hope you've got skills to go with them. Because things ain't pretty down there. The Heckers have left the place in a right state, and nearly a week after mining resumed. I don't know if you know this, but Copperbell was old when the second Uld dynasty was still young, and it was abandoned centuries ago. If it hadn't been for the storage of mineral uh, materials needed for the rebuilding effort, the concern, or the, yeah, the concern would have never had thought to reopen it. We knew full well about the giants beforehand, but the project went ahead anyway. I mean, nothing could have possibly survived being buried in uh, under a mountain's worth of rock for three centuries, right? Wrong. Our miners dug up more than what they bargained for. One swing of the pickaxe too many, and they found themselves in the company of giants. Unless we can subdue them, the nation's glorious recovery will grind to a halt for want of aught to build with. The stone torches are keeping watch over the entrance in case the giants fancy some sunlight and fresh air. One of them will be able to show you the way in. The hope of the nation's resting on you, friend. Best of luck. Dollar once my character goes into his standing animation. Uh, Just gotta wait for the idol. Oh, oh he's, uh, he's, he's a little taller. He's taller than me. Yeah. It's so close. Hair, it's also hard to tell because your hair is like slightly poofy. No, he's definitely taller no, than he's, me. Yeah, he's taller. Yeah, he's, he's, he's noticeably taller than me. <laughs> we'll never speak of this again. <laughs> I like to think that that one group's name is like a merge between like California and Gambit. So it's like... Heck a ton, Shirley. <laughs> <laughs> is out the. What day is that? Western Thailand. Gate of Silver. <laughs> I don't think any of these places help us get there. Like a California, just, Louisiana should just, man. Should we just walk there? I'm going uh, like guild person because I'm level 25. Oh, yeah. so I can do my next quest. Oh, we're not. Oh, I can't. Do want, I can't. Do you want to wait till yet. we're done with this quest first? No, let's wait. Yeah, I'm we're not gonna go do my thing. Today. I'm just. I'm just accepting just it because we can't. Uh, we can teleport to Horizon. Uh, that'll be quicker. 
Uh, where? Sorry, where do we have to go? Uh, it's Western. Is it, is it Western? Yeah. So go to uh, Gate of Sultana. Is Rafi cutting out a lot for you? It, am I? That's what I'm uh, he's just quiet. Uh, he, he, teleport. To, oh, there we go. For to me, he keeps yeah. he keeps fading in and out, like he's being noise canceled out of existence. Oh, uh, I, I haven't noticed that. <clears throat> I don't know. Yeah, I haven't Maybe noticed I that. Off. I'm I'm watching my uh, voice right now and just seeing if it cuts off at any point, or if it's just. Being weird, I don't know. Where are we going to? Let's I don't know. See. I think it's we're going weird. to the Copper Bell Mines. Remember where the bombs were? Oh yeah, straight across. Yeah. We have, all, the, we have all these chauffeurs. <laughs> you and you're just like bored. <laughs> Goodbye, Andrew. <laughs> what? Where, where is Andrew? <laughs> He's just flying away with three, with two of us. I Wait. barely fit in this vehicle. Oh, there he is. Oh, there you guys are. Oh, he's already here. Oh! Yeah. oh. <laughs> I about this car. Beep, beep. <laughs> Just... Yep. Let's go. Onward! What a great mount. Roads? Where we're going, we don't need roads. I have to say, the ship is kind of cool looking. I really like its transformation Oop. ability. Oh yeah. And we're here. I wonder how right. much they were able to just copy paste it. <laughs> they just had, hey, could you send us over the 3D model? You already got it, right? Like, yeah. Same company. Well, it's not the same team or anything, but still. Who wants to do his voice? Oh, uh, why not? There's been an incident in the side of the Copper Bell Mines. We are here to ensure that its effects are contained, but for your own safety, I suggest you stay well away from here. What? You're the adventurer who's volunteered to quell the uh, the Hekas? I didn't think that Papa Sean would be able to find someone so quickly, if at all. The giants are con- uh, <clears throat> Sorry, my throat's bothering me here. The giants are content to wreak havoc inside the mines for now, but it's only a matter of time before they think to come outside. The sooner you see them, or see to them, the better. Make ready as best you can, and enter at will. So it's like, it's like, uh, instance marathon time, huh? Uh, yeah, no kidding. Yeah. Also, yeesh, I need a drink. I'll, I'll, take, dry. I'll take instance marathon time over fucking talk to the leaders marathon time. That was miserable. <laughs> oh, hey, I just realized we, uh, we're a full party of four. We don't need to wait. Yep. Yep. No way. He's an so astrologist, we'll get some water. which I think is a spellcaster healer card. Planet, star, person. <laughs> I think they use tarot cards. I just saw him break out the cards earlier in the end, and I was like, "Card captures of the cloud. Expect the unexpected now." Secrets of the cloud. No one else remembers the show either. I watched all the weird shit as a kid, apparently. I was like, I'm gonna watch card captors and play Silent Bomber and Mischief Makers. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Instead of, like, Zelda. <laughs> or anything that people actually knew about. Andrew, come back. You were just AFK, like, 15 minutes ago. Oh, well, no, I can't. I can't chain classes. I can't do crafting while I wait. No. <laughs> You're addicted. It's a neat crafting system. I'm man. surprised you didn't just run out of stuff to do over the course of the week between each okay. recording session. Why? Oh no, I was. I wasn't. Uh, I wasn't working on anything on my on this character. I was trying to avoid it. I honestly probably could have done stuff like crafting and whatnot on it, but. Yeah. Oh, uh, sorry. Let me enable this. Your, your um, dueling please? stance. Yeah. Astrologists are healers, right? Yes. Astrologists are the best healers. Oh. Mostly because they have someone healing for them. Is, what, do they summon a healing bot? 
that seals for them? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, uh, I think uh, at this yeah. level he's too low for it, but... Um, oh god, does it, gets... does it strip all your abilities when it de-levels you? Yeah. Yeah, you go down to level 1 when you swap. Oh, well, uh, you go down to... No, I mean, what, no, I mean when it de-levels us for the instance. Oh, uh, I don't know. Well, I don't think the level scaling is taking any... Yeah, my have... buttons are still here. Oh, uh, so you're not going to notice much of a change. You'll notice a change when you get like, so below 30 uh, is when you don't have with. Sorry, how do I explain this? So at, at 30, you get your um, you get your job. So your class upgrades to a job. And so. Uh, do you still have your pet on a oh, scholar is the pet healer? That's I mean, if, he, oh, okay. if you if you got deleveled out of your job, he wouldn't be an astrolog astrologist in the first place, because they don't exist at level twenty. Yeah, but he should be at the lowest level of that job, meaning he's, he's still missing a lot of abilities. He's like level seventy or something. I, I think he might still have all of his abilities. They're just all weakened. Uh, so it depends. Uh, a lot like, of his job abilities don't exist. Like, these instances uh, aren't have... removing my new ability, Faint. No, you're not. So, it's only your... It's it's only... Sorry, I, it's trying to think. So, it's only specific abilities that are not going to make it over. Uh, yeah, yeah, you're losing everything because uh, it's your job. So, all job stuff goes away. It just goes back down to your class. Uh, so, for instance, like, I have, I have a scholar. And my scholar uh, can only do basically like rock one and cure one uh, at this level, which is garbage. I should be able to like do my AOE healing. I should be able to do a bunch of other shit, but I can't. Uh, so it, it does take away stuff, but it's only when you get to a higher, like a high enough level. that you start to notice it. Weird, like strange, um, like kind of like strange and arbitrary how it's implemented. Yeah, I don't. Like you, like you think it'd be taking away my abilities because, like, I have abilities that I shouldn't have at level twenty. Do you? Yeah. Like what? Like faint. My ability that reduces the enemy's strength and something else by ten percent. Eh. It's. Eh. Well, I just I'm saying like you would, you would think that the game would just de-level you so that you just don't have any of the abilities that you that are over that level. Oh, that's a big guy. But they seem to have like yeah. a weird flagging system where only specific things get removed and other stuff stays, and it's inconsistent and weird. I think it depends on how much it changes the the flow of the battle. Um, Hello, like giant some man. Moves, some moves are probably just too strong for you to be like carrying around at this level. Look at these crystals. Could they be materia? I just assume everything's materia. <laughs> yeah. That's a heck of a ton of materia. <laughs> it is. A hey, ding. Congrats. You are now 20. I don't know. <laughs> oh, yeah. For all, all right. You're right. Yeah, we should be 25 because we were. Because you were on the cusp of being able to do your ability, your your uh, class quests. Exciting! Now you guys can all do them. God. What the heck is a spriggan? Uh, a rabbit. Gross. <laughs> I'm gonna judge the rabbit. That's not nice. It's unnecessary, but let's kill everything. <laughs> don't don't be mean, but don't be mean to them. I mean, don't call just them ugly. Just, just kill murder them. them and their family. Politely. <laughs> then take all their shit. Yeah. You don't have to. You don't have to like kick them when they're down. Like just civilized adults. Yeah, kick them, then let them get back up, then kick them. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. 
Am I just weirdly, like, spinning in place? Or not spinning, because I'm always facing the same direction. You're, like, side strafing, like, yeah. Yeah, does the, does the, does the netcode account for me just, like, weirdly, yeah. like, doing little circles? <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, I can see you just moving around. I, oh, my God, it's the, it's the guy that runs Shatrath. <laughs> what? Like, the capital city from Burning Crusade. Oh. We're just fighting those weird floating rune people. Hey, now. Uh, I think there's yeah, another see? baddie. That's just the oh, dude. Yeah, you're right. It's just those things. Yeah. It's the same, like, almost looking. It's really, too, it's really yeah. similar. It's definitely more aggressive and blendery looking. How do you tell which way it's facing? Uh, gotta zoom out and be able to see the circle, I guess. There's another one. Right? I'm not crazy. Isn't there like another big guy? Fire sand? Yeah, we need that. Go ahead and grab that. It's in pot. I think that's just how they spell ounce in this game. Six ounce. Pound pieces yeah. of fire sand. <laughs> hey man. It's a lot of fire sand. Nothing wrong with a little instance. <laughs> Wait, is ounce metric or uh imperial? Imperial. Oh. And ironically, all of your measurements in weight are based off of our measurements in weight. What? The pound is based off- I thought you guys used metric. Yeah, the pound is based off of the, <laughs> the kilogram. Oh, oh, yeah. Sorry, I was like, wait, what? Oh, boy. I thought you, I thought you were saying that Canada uses Imperial. I was like, no. <laughs> you guys are- you guys ain't holds, dummies. It holds 12 ounces of fire sand. Okay. Oh, we need more fire sand. Oh, we missed some. We need more fire sand. Yeah, I only got one. Yeah. Oh, it's just, it's just I got in a this, bag. There's just some in the same room. Oh. Oh, is there some back here? Yep. It was it was uh, just on oh, top of the is. hill. Oh, we we a bunch of dummies. You did it. Now push it. Explode. Back. That's how you use a lever. <laughs> A plunger. Yeah. You just reach your hand out like you're trying to sh I know. do a magic trick. We gotta wait for our healer. Otherwise we'll die. Time to die, Spriggan. <laughs> Who is clearly alone here. And there's no additional surprises here. That oh easy, no, boss. additional that surprises. Instantly. Um. Oh. Spriggan oh, shifted. God. More spriggan. Oh my god, what will we do? Wow, they died quickly. <laughs> Your spriggan is easy to kill. <laughs> Ever seen a terminal montage? No. He has some really great animations. Uh, one of them he did for Typing in the Dead. And, um, and there's like a character that is like, my god. <laughs> Just like every time there's zombies. My god, what me. have I done? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Actually, I think you would like Terminal Montage. He has a lot of, he reminds me a lot of Eagle Raptor before Eagle Raptor stopped doing the thing that he was good at. And he just vanished forever. Whatever yeah. happened to him? <laughs> uh, capitalism. Oh no. I say as it if happens. I wasn't literally watching it today. I mean, is this the whole boss? Is it just like a weird mass of enemies? Uh, oh, yeah. I think so. Yeah, I think a bigger. I thought a bigger Spriggan shows up. Oh no, it's just a bunch of Spriggan. Never mind. I think the bigger Spriggan's later. You basically have to do nothing here. Like I, I can't get anything off. Well, you got to stop the bombs. <laughs> Oh, 
Dun, 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 dun. Oh, there he there is. He is. Hey, big boy. Hey there, big boy. I'm gonna blast all my cooldowns on you. Enjoy. <laughs> hey, big boy, you they've come here often. They, they've been waiting for a chance. <laughs> Free shit. That's why I need to do is just make an entire hot bar of emotes. Uh, I have that, yeah. It's handy. It did oh, the no, thing. The it, did the, it did the victory music. Oh my god. So when you leveled up. Uh, just when we looted. Did I level up? Oh. I don't think I don't think I leveled up. That's that music isn't for leveling up, it's for victory. God, it's like you're not even a real Final Fantasy fan. I thought it does happen when you level up too. That's the best joke in all of uh uh What's they called? Advent Children. Oh, bye, would... Keith. Oh, no. <laughs> bye. That scene where Tifa kicks the big brutish guy's ass, and then you just hear the da 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 It's his ringtone. It's called a callback. Don't call it a callback. What? What is it, then? Not that. Oh. The grand surprise is that he didn't lose. That's the Ooh, best fight. That's actually the best scene in the potions? entire movie. Right, huh? Is the church fight. You can pretty much just turn off at that point. Oh. <laughs> wow. <laughs> it's not some high I mean, fucking praise. <laughs> it's, not a, it's not a great movie. But I the, mean, uh, no, the Tifa but fight's damn. really good. <laughs> I barely even know who Tifa is, <laughs> and it's still a good fight. All you need to know is she is the one that all the art's drawn of. Uh, no, that's usually both Eris and her. That's, that's, that's fair. No one cares about Yuffie. Aww. Nobody. All right, isn't Yuffie, best... isn't, isn't Yuffie an optional character? Uh, Yuffie, I think so? Is she? I think I heard that you recruit her by uh, doing random encounters in a forest somewhere, so you can literally miss her entirely. Oh, that might just be never, possible. And just, and just never have her in the party. I think is, the reason that she, most people don't consider her optional is because, you know, grinding. You just accidentally run into her. Yeah, I would be shocked if someone didn't need to grind in Final Fantasy. You just get so used to the idea of characters being mandatory in, in Final Fantasy games. But yeah, the idea that right. there was a missable one is like, what? <laughs> what do you mean? Well, the, I know the older ones had that. They were like, oh, you didn't talk to this guy. Like, I remember yeah, uh, CeeLo telling were, me about... It's probably because they were text. Yeah, but I remember CeeLo telling me about one where it's like, there's a there's a character that will just die if you don't go back and get him. Yeah, <laughs> like, like, like Sten. Yeah, where like, he, he stays back. Like, basically this ship is exploding and you have to get off of it in a time limit. And you have to run. You have to know that he's there, that, and he's injured, and he can't get off the ship. And you have to go and get him before the time runs out, and still escape the ship, or else you just lose him forever. And uh, yeah, I remember like hearing that. Be like, how? How did you? How do you know that? He's like, you don't know that your first time. It's like, oh, oh god. <laughs> I mean, manual saves. <laughs> yeah. Just keep him staggered. But that's one of the things I like about. Uh, like Dark Souls and Mass Effect, sorry not Dark Souls, uh, Dragon Age and Mass Effect, is that uh, almost every party member is optional in those games. Or at least a huge number of them are, by the by the later ones. Like, yeah, like it's Sten is just in a cage in like the first town you walk into, and he's like, yeah. he's like an accused murderer and stuff, and you can just like, not free him and move on with your life. <laughs> and that whole place gets wiped out like immediately after you leave. So it's like, I guess I don't have Sten. And Zevron, you could just not spare. <laughs> and you could just kill him because he was an assassin sent to kill you. 
Uh, he's not taking damage. Is there a trick to this one? Probably. Yeah, we this guy. Lure, we lure him to oh, the bomb. Yeah, you lure her to the bomb and uh, then... Uh, once you kill the bomb, blows up and hurts him. Yep. yep. So. Big boom. Oh, he's dead. Or not. Nope. Ow. Oh, Two you guys both died. Oh, shit. Uh, did you guys stand in the explosion? Yeah, maybe, did. yeah, maybe I didn't get out in time. I thought gotcha. I made it, but I guess not. We just gotta wait uh, for the bombs, I guess. Yeah, that, there's like a uh, gas leak there... of catnip in the house. Oh, uh, there's no. I <laughs> uh, just die. You think so? <coughs> uh, yeah, we, our healer and our <coughs> DPS is dead. You can do it. I believe in you. <coughs> you pull the you lever. Eight, All right. <coughs> you have 80 health. There we go. <coughs> All right. Fuck myself up. You can do it. I believe in you. You have six health. No, I'm dead. Uh. Then, it, then of course, like on top of that, those two characters being optional and just killable and stuff, you got like the half, the other like half of the characters that you can piss off <laughs> and they'll leave. How do I do this? Yeah, you just gotta kite them. Also, you can't yeah, hurt forever. them. Yeah, <laughs> forever. You also can't hurt them with your attacks, so you can't even properly kite them. You can't do the hunter bullshit where you circle, strafe, jump, and just continually fire at them while staying out of range. Hey, hunters are beautiful. It's like, you can't even hurt these guys. You can do it! I believe in you! Just teleport back, Keith. What are you doing? What? Return. What do I do? Uh, uh, you should have got a prompt to teleport back. Maybe it's the starting pro point thing in the corner. Return yeah. to the starting point of copper. Okay. I can totally do this. I've never died in an instance before. I think. <coughs> I don't know, I don't know how myself, any maybe. of this works. Oh yeah, you can return to start, and then uh. I played Lost there, Odyssey until the. I played Lost Odyssey until the train, where it forces you to fight a boss with a bunch of characters that I wasn't really actively leveling. Like, on, well, fuck you. The story Hurry says up. these characters are here, and I'm like, oh no, <laughs> I'm not ready for yeah, any of these like characters. Hit the lever. <laughs> I can't do it. Yeah, just stay dead. Um, just stay dead. Well, yeah, don't teleport back because uh, Panda can res you. But I don't think we can help you. I think once the boss chamber starts, we're, yeah. So just go ahead wah, and die now. You guys are outside, though, so. Yep. Owie. And. I was so close. The crying dark is no longer sealed. A little extreme. Except. I mean, you know, gotta go with that, uh, that edginess. We all ready? ready Cross the threshold. Ready. Or we're fucked. <laughs> Oh, he's going after Evie. There we go. Yeah. Get ready to run. Yep. Run. Now. Oh, shit. We, we killed, killed it. it fast. <laughs> yeah, we killed it too fast. We did it. We did it I... too well. Oh, is the plunger not ready yet? I was trying to use the plunger and I couldn't. <clears throat> You know what, I'll just bring it over here. You guys attack the bomb. Uh, do you attack it or do you wait for it to blow up itself? 
It'll blow up its own. Oh, yep, here it goes. Blowing up. I don't think I do anything in this fight. <laughs> yeah, you just no. need to uh, you just need to fight the bomb until it gets to a certain point that it will blow up. Yeah. Row, row, fight the power. I'm gonna here. <laughs> there, it has 10% less strength. <laughs> I helped. That's that's my one trick. <clears throat> All right. I'm yep. out. Ooh. Owned. Oh, it's a rabbit to murder. I can do that. There, there goes that. <laughs> I can distract you with big lights. All right, last bomb. Epilepsy test. <laughs> All right, don't kill it. Kill the wabbit. There Duck we season. go. Oh, I got me. Oh no. Fuck. You fool. Oh, there's so many tiny I'm ones. We can fuck these ones bad. up. Hey, we them. Oh, you can AoE them. I got him. Use bl cast Blizzard. <laughs> I'm trying. I'm out of mana. It's time to AoE grind. Finally, something I can need. I was like, yeah, right? it's so taunting. You see these giant plus numbers, and you're like, <gasps> and then you realize you can't wear it. <laughs> the pluses are <laughs> lies. The pluses are lies. But this would sure give you a lot of stats if it was your class. Anyway. <laughs> I guess you can anyway, go need fuck yourself. A hippo. What the fuck's a hippo surf? What? It's like a weird gremlin dog bird. What am I looking at? Sorry, I had to turn down the game volume. Yeah, there. It's a weird like, uh, like, like a living mongrel. fossil. That's not a nice <laughs> thing to call ammonite. I mean, it's weird to call it a living fossil because that would imply that they were once to be believed extinct. Yeah, they I mean, don't seem to have gone anywhere. Yeah, but if they haven't gone anywhere, then they can't be. A living fossil. Like, what are they? Did they were they tunneling out this mine, and then they just uncovered these ancient horrors. It could. I be mean, that, technically, uh, I guess these things could be sleeping. Say, for example, in rocks, because they do look like rocks. like silverfish. Yeah. Oh exactly. God. <laughs> the ultimate villain of all of Minecraft. <laughs> this fucking silverfish. The only villain of Minecraft. They really are a nightmare. Uh, it looks like there's multiple ways to go. I don't think they went hex. I, I don't think they went hexagonal with these columns. Oh wait, oh, that's a big guy. Oh, as I walk onto hexagonal columns. There you go. I was, like, I was looking at the purple crystals, and then as I was judging them, I walked onto the blue crystals, which are just hexag. They're all just hexagons. Yep. I, I wonder if there's a part where they stick noticeably out, or if they're always on the floor, like like walkable flat. So yeah, that's, um, that's already... That's, I think the that's, boss that's, chamber has some. That's definitely a common joining candidate right there. <laughs> oh, oh, don't dear. worry. You'll find plenty. I tried Googling it. I didn't get anything. It means people just aren't proper, properly cataloging the screenshots for the geologic inclusions in them. I don't think that's a priority the, for most people. The, the crimes. Yeah. yeah. These are all hexagonal. It's really noticeable. It's funny. Bro, and I was on the outlook. Look out for him, too. The loot was added? Yeah, there's a chest over this way. Oh. Wait, I got... Wait, did I get separated? Oh, shit, I'm finding things. Uh, shit. Run back to me. They'll follow Ooh. you. Ooh, a treasure chest. I found my Keith, own... run back. I found my own treasure chest now. <laughs> Read. Are you dying? 
And greed. It's cool. I've got an instant heal that I wasn't using for some reason. Ow! Stop it! <laughs> there you are. Right. Probably put protections on myself. Big old dummy. Okay, there we go. Let me check something real quick. Uh, close those. Ah, okay. Oh. Oh, I don't. Oh no, they fucked it up. They have one type of crystal growing out of the other one. They clip them through each other. They fucked it up! Yeah, there's some, but these aren't really great. Oh, Keith already oh. opened that treasure. Yeah, that's the one I ran back for. Where, where are you? What? I'm fighting this hey, living fossil. God. Back here. This is not the way we're going. <laughs> no. Oh, I just saw. I just saw. Why do you enemies. always keep finding trouble? I don't know. Why do you keep missing it? I well, I had to run back to <laughs> save you from the other fight you ran into prior. Fool. Yeah, I have no idea where the where the direction is we go. Oh, you can't. That's different. You can't clip through things in this game. Like you can't, like you don't get, by, you don't get behind an enemy by just running through them. <laughs> oh. Because in in most uh, in most MMOs actually, pl uh, players and enemies don't have collision hitboxes. They only have like damage hitboxes. Oh, this is a boss fight. Cutscene. Yep. Slaves no more. Free, free. Wait, are we gonna fight the slaves? This seems not good. Like, we're the bad guys. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was explaining earlier in the in the. When you said uh, you didn't tavern. like when you didn't like the S word. Yeah, because we we basically are like, yeah, let's get rid of these slaves. We don't let's, like them anymore. How is this guy all ribs but also jacked as shit? What's up with his body? <laughs> He's got boss syndrome. <laughs> I'm confused by many elements of what he looks like. Anyway, he has 10% less strength. <laughs> oh no. That's my one contribution. 10% 10, 10 less strength for 10 seconds. Once every 90 seconds. Woo, you're really gonna feel that one. <laughs> I mean, the healer will. <laughs> what even is an oppo oppo form anyway? Where are you going, buddy? He's attempting to break through the wall. Yeah. Are we supposed to stop him? Or is he gonna go or is that like a level oh, oh, uh, he's, it, oh he's summoning enemies? Ass. Yeah. Getcha. Oop, that's a big okay. cone. Ah uh, shit. Get this ad. He's Where'd gonna he go? there try to is. break he's trying to break more friends out. Oh uh, shit. That's bad. It's a chain reaction. On the other hand, though, more XP. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. He's not even facing us. Is he also breaking no, the wall? No, he's doing his. He was doing <clears throat> his move. Oh, like a airy AOE. Ignore ads. Why would we ignore the ads? Yeah, that seems counterintuitive. I mean, they, they die so quickly. Oh god, sorry about that. Didn't mean to turn them that way. Face me, coward. <laughs> Face me, coward. 10% less strength for you, coward. Activating my life leech for no reason, because I never take damage. 
it's just an underused skill that I'd want to There's use. There's always reason. Oh god. Underutilized in rock music. <laughs> 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 I can't stop thinking about that animation. <laughs> it's really good. It's a really good animation. Go. Listen to a lot of Tom Waits lately. <laughs> the Marumba. Hey, the... Oh, it's the Woody. Crowd's dead. It's Woody. It's soulful. It's underutilized in rock music. <laughs> I love the like. Oh, the crowd's dead. <laughs> that sleepy crowd. Yeah. No, they're, they're all skeletons. <laughs> yeah. He's like, the, 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 the crowd's dead. Sleepy crowd. We can handle it. No, no, look. Oh. <laughs> So <laughs> skeletons in it. <laughs> why? Is, yeah, but but why? But why is it all? Why is it all skeletons? <laughs> what did we do? Oh, like, it's like we used so much why, so much xylophone on the last album. Why did we use so much xylophone? Ah, uh, and return. Listen to a lot of Tom Waits. <laughs> Should have splurged on a full size xylophone instead of. Instead of. Or a full size marumba instead of the xylophone. Wait a second. You can't fool me. Uh. Painted Mesa. Oh, back at, back at the inn. Yep. My, gotcha. uh. My class quest is in Western Thanaland. <laughs> my yeah. class quest is. What? Western Thanaland? I could have fucked it up. Damn it. <laughs> An attempt was made. Yeah. Every time I hear oh. Thanalan, all I think of is Black Betty. That that is a that's a that's an option. Head that's out to Western Thanalan. <laughs> like any variation of that, like my brain just is always working on a version. Yeah, it's the same thing. As soon as you said it, I... human memory is just memes. <laughs> it really is. All we have is memes. Da, da, you know, da, 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 da. <laughs> what 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 is the theoretical capacity of the human brain again? Memes. It, no memes. no 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 no. The, the maximum data capacity. A heck a ton of there gigabytes. Is none. <laughs> uh, the human brain doesn't have a limitation of storage. I'm gonna talk to my dude now. Or goodbye, those guys. Every time, every session, I forget what a voice I ever went for with these guys. <laughs> I swear each time I see you, you you remind me more and more of my younger self. At this rate, you're like to transform into a handsome devil before the moon's over. Now then, I believe you're here to learn. Unfortunately, I'm in no condition to teach. This is rather embarrassing to admit, but in the, my eagerness to prepare for the big <gasps> rematch, I've overtrained and thrown my back out. Ugh. I tell you, old age is hells. I feel your Chichuto will have to tend to you in my stead. Chichuto! It seems the prospect of facing his old rival has lit a veritable fire into the Master Hammond's backside. I am so relieved to see that he has a purpose again. The trick now is to keep a lid on his zeal, lest he injure himself. But let us speak of your lesson. When you are ready, come and meet me at Little Ala Miko. I have a challenge in mind you are certain to find stimulating. Little Ala Miko, I have no fucking clue where that is. Southern Thanalan. Okay. I have never been to Southern Thanalan. I don't. I guess I must just have to go through. Steps of Thal. Just head south, right? That's the most useful part about these names. They're called cardinal directions, so I guess there are those directions. I will say one thing about these big complex cosmetic items on my character is that I wish I could customize individual parts of them. 
sometimes there's like a specific highlight that's like, oh, that part's really red or whatever, and it's like, I kind of want to change just that part. But unfortunately, the die system more or less overrides the entire appearance of your gear. It's like, oh yeah? You had a big complex piece with like several different colors all over it? Well, when you, uh... When you, cha when you uh, put dye on it, it's just gonna become monochromatic now. Uh, I'll check with the others, I think. So we are... Hey, bra. Bra. Do you guys know hey. how to get to Southern Thanalan? Southern Thanalan? Southern? Yeah. Uh... I've never been to Southern yet. I'm just trying to... I'm just kind of running around right now looking for it. Because that's where my objective is. You're gonna want to go to wet... Um... Uh... Wait. No. You want to go to Central Thanalan, and then you can go to Southern Thanalan. Go back to Central Thanalan. Yeah, we're actually quite a ways off still from mounts. Because we're only in uh, into a copper hell. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven more quests. Granted, they could all, I mean... Who knows how quickly the they last, might go. Th yeah, because this is the last dungeon we get. So... Uh, until... Yeah, this is the last dungeon we get. For a while. Until we do an actual boss. Um, so once we finish this quest, then we will get Science of the Seventh Dawn, which is retainers. And then we just have a bunch of main story quests. Oh, right. And what? There we go. Left. I just remember that left bumper is auto run. How useful. Can you speak, Andrew? Yeah. Hello. I'm trying to check the audio because he seemed loud, so I was trying to change it. Oh. Sorry, it's no, me, Andrew. No, it's just an always endless balancing thing. Every session, you guys are always never quite the same volume. And then I tweak well, it again and again. I, I sit in different positions with my mic in front of my face. <laughs> Ooh. So. I can steer while I'm in auto run. And he'll just keep going. Yep. Good, because like I only that. get sprint once per minute. <laughs> yeah, I don't know why it's not just a, hey, I can turn this on. And just, you know, have it on. Uh, because it's supposed to be a temporary speed boost. Okay. Although it does both last longer and is less effective than the usual speed boost I'm used to from WoW. Yeah. Like when, when you sprint or something, usually it's like a quick escape. So you get a really big speed boost for short, less time, where this one lasts like 15 seconds. Like a 25% uptime. But no, eventually we'll just have a mount. Many of the options people are showing me are downright garish. I always seem to have simpler desires, for, like the visual designs. <laughs> like I, I think of all the WoW mounts I see too, and it's just like people go with the most hyper dramatic, f like shiny, twelve particle effects, multi winged beast monster. <laughs> I'm like, this is a lot. I don't need this much. Okay. <clears throat> yeah. Don't need what? What are you guys doing in your class quest? Yep. Yep, I gotta go to Eastern Thanalan. And I'm in Southern, which I've never seen before. But such is life. 
Gives me a chance to get a new crystal at least. Did you already do the main story? The no, main the, story? No. Or turn we in said, the... Because we said we were doing these. I have not these. turned in a, okay. into a copper hill yet. Okay, just wanted to confirm. Yeah, once we do, I'm probably going to call it though, because I am uh, getting a bit of headache from all this. Sorry, you're what? You're getting a headache? Yeah, I'm not feeling super great right now. I've been waiting for you, Zev. Today your training will be to prepare for Master Hammond's training. I brought with me some striking dummies, and I want you to deploy them at certain locations. Lest you think this task be drudgery, the locations are rife with peril. Your skills will most certainly be put to a test. By way of advice, Fists of Earth will avail you best if you must approach if you must approach dangerous fiends. Employ it well, and you'll have nothing to fear. Off with you go now, Zev. Go set up those striking dummies. I shall await your return. Where? Shit. Wait. Am I going, like, fucking everywhere? But this quest is a lot. Okay. Um, shit. Rolls. Okay. I need to go around here. This would be a great time to have had a mount already. Holy shit. Let's go back into comms. Fine, I'll just return to Udolf free. This Jerk. one's gonna take a while. Holy shit. <laughs> what? Your quest? They want me to set up training dummies all over the entire zone in like six locations. Well, good thing you have a friend that can fly you around. Ta-da. How? This is a strange... This is strange training. I'm is it... Stranger than you having to go steal from poor people. Well, she's not uh, now now uh, now now the other people That's like the top person is like the one that's sending me to do things. It's not the uh It's not the old man because now we're trying to get I the know, old man's I'm, mojo I'm saying back that, I'm saying this pugilist guild kind of has a habit of like propping up really bad people <laughs> But there's just this strange detail where my current uh, my current goal is up oh, shit Attracting attention <laughs> My current, current goal, goal is, is just uh... to set up a bunch of striking dummies around the zone. Like, not- I'm not training on dummies, I'm just setting up dummies and then walking away. They're for other people to train, obviously. Apparently. And this is gonna help me become... a better soldier or something, I don't know. I mean, Weird detail. Yeah. God, I have so much better. Oh God, that looks awful. Please back to my plate. Thank you. Yep. All right. Um. Okay. What level do I gotta be for you now? Thirty for my class or for my job. Ooh, okay. At, at least at least they're rolling this zone. Like node or whatever, <laughs> whatever you call it. You know what I mean. Yeah. The each zone zone is divided into like a bunch of named regions, and they're at least all in this region of the zone. And not like across the entire fucking desert. Because southern Thailand looks huge. Oopsie, I'm oh attracting too much attention. <laughs> womp womp. I did it. Shit, oh fuck, I lost the prompt for respawning. There it is. Very lost. Fuck! Jesus. God damn it, god damn it, I didn't read it in time. I keep forgetting you respawn fucking nowhere? It's really weird that you don't respawn in the zone you died in. Oh, you died? Oh. Uh, yeah. Should, yeah. When you die, it respawns you all the way back to where you started, yeah. all the way back in town, hey. and I'm like, excuse me? Why? Shit. Uh... I got a southern that on yeah, there we go. I got the crystal in Alamigo, though. 
that was like, oh yeah, just respawn me back in town. I'm, that's, that's actually closer to where I need to go next anyway, so fuck it. Uh, and then I'm like, oh fuck, right, this game's weird. It respawns you an eternity away from where you currently died. Yeah, you gotta be careful. Is it gonna Death always is... respawn me in the steps of knowledge for the rest of the playthrough? Yeah. Well, <clears throat> unless you set a new home location. So uh, every time you go to an Aether, you can set uh, that Aether shard as your home location. So when you die, it returns you there. So if you're gonna be in that zone for a while questing, you can just set that to be your home and then just teleport yourself back to uh, Steps of Udal or whatever. So this is a game where you always respawn by hearthing? Yes. Weird. Uh, yeah, it's it's weird. There's yeah, there's no like grave site and it doesn't spawn you at the nearest Aetherite pistol, which I think would be smarter. But um Yeah. He just formed to Raptor. Delivers an attack with the potency of Aeta only eighty to Nero by targets. Transform to Raptor. Oh, it's a new opening move. It does half as much damage, but as an AoE. Alright. There's like a whole separate cycle, though. <laughs> I'm gonna head to the guild. Oh, it just said you dissolved the party. I did? Uh, probably because you're trying to do your... Or probably because Effie left. Oh, I was like, yeah, I had to leave and do my quest real quick. Yeah, and I, I already left to do my quest. Like, I don't remember pressing anything. What have I done? <laughs> Everything is broken now. Mother of God. I know. I noticed that the naming scheme that every Lalafell uses is also repeated in the name of the Lalafell. What do you mean? Like, the actual name of a Lalafell is itself... La la fell. One syllable repeating, and then oh, a, and then a, yeah. and then a new syllable for the third one. Like every every Lalafell has a three syllable name, where the first two syllables are the same thing repeating. They are they are everything but consistent. Oh, what did I just get? Why did I get that notification? That was a weird. Okay. This is a pretty boring quest. All right, what do you want from me, man? I just run across the uh, map over uh, and over again. <laughs> deliver pairs of Hempton Breaches. Hempton Breaches. What do Ooh, those take? Ooh, Cactuars. Hempton oh, Underpants. They're, oh, they're creepy. Sabo Tenders. Breaches needs claw and leather. <clears throat> The map made it look like I could go this way, but I can't. The map's the map is lies. That's three. How could they do this to me? Oh god, I need a way for this. They're like, don't worry, if you use the fists of if you run into danger, don't worry. If you use the fist of earth, you'll be totally safe. The fist of earth reduces incoming damage by 10%. <laughs> what a lifesaver. They'll never stand a chance now. <laughs> You're right. I was in trouble, but then I reduced incoming damage by 10%. And now they don't stand a chance. Oh no, now they stand chances. My god. What have they done? The worst kind of stand. You have an ETA over there? What'd you say? You have an ETA over there? Uh, I think I'm on the way to the last one. Now would be the time to do your crafting. This one, this one I have to like fight past dudes. Yeah. I would have been done sooner if I didn't weirdly somehow get stuck finding the character. I don't, I don't know. I have to like rewind back to figure out what was going wrong there. I must have, I think I just misinterpreted something and got stuck for like 10 minutes. Okay, so I have Two, four, six, I have enough of those. I just need these. Are you sticking around then, Effie? Well, enough for you guys to at least, you know, turn in the quest. Oh. 
Yeah, it's, it sounded like you were just gonna leave when you finished your your last quest or something. No, no. I'm gonna, like I said, at least let you guys finish. <laughs> <clears throat> Yeah, I've reached, I've reached the part of the quest where I actually have to like fight through a gauntlet of dudes. A bunch of guys between me and where- Oh, I died! Wow. Well then. Shit. How? I see that coming. They're, everyone's higher level than me. Yeah, but you shouldn't be that far off. Nah, just I'm not paying enough attention to my health bar. That would do it. <laughs> I've just, and I've never been in, I've never really been in danger. Ever. <laughs> so uh, I, don't have, I don't have the habit of looking at my health bar and noticing, oh, wait, I need to use my healing abilities. The second wind gives me a, a little burst of health, and then I have a, a life leech that I can t that I can press every now and then. But instead, I just stood there and died. Fuck. All right, well, that's going to make it take even longer. Uh, where in Southern Thanalan are you? Uh, we like, always just party out. I'm at, it's the sepulcher that I need to be at. Currently I'm at Almigo because I have to run back because I died. Well, yeah, but if we party up, then you can't do your quest. Uh... I don't have reason to think that. Oh, are you done doing the special segment that you need to be alone think, for? Uh, so far, no part of it's been special. Oh. I thought it said... Oh, okay. I never, um, I've never entered an instance so far. Maybe, uh, what's maybe, your, maybe it'll put me in an instance your, afterwards or something. What's your XY <clears throat> so that a panda can find you because he can heal you? It's the sepulcher. I don't know where that is. It's right next to the town. To the oh, north, okay. uh, east. Character. These dangerous, scary men are such high level. My god. What we'll do. <laughs> Maybe. Jesus, they are legitimately fucking high level. Jesus Christ. <laughs> They're actually just doing damage to me. Fuck. <laughs> I want you to fight two of them at once. They're both two levels higher than me. And I'm like, oh, I'm going to lose this fight. And this time I'm actually paying attention to healing. Fool. I have every crafting ability, so now there's no mission you can give me I can't do. You thought I a fool. They're just instantly aggroed on anyone but me. Shit, how do I... fuck it. Uh, there we go. Sometimes it's just easier oh, to try to not. use the mouse than anything else. The other buttons are... Wow, this place looks densely populated. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh. But don't worry, Where's... just use the fists of, of Earth and you'll be fine. <laughs> <laughs> that 10% reduction in damage will save me. I mean, from an entire zone of level 28 nightmares. It could have, if you believed enough, which you don't. <laughs> Got like, like as a point of reference, Andrew, this is like walking into like one of those fucking like early WoW like fucking uh, uh, null encampments. Oh god. Where there's just too many gnolls and they're all like a little tough individually and like every encounter might aggro three. <laughs> You're like, fuck! 
<laughs> yeah, you're like, uh. If I, you're like, if I aggro two, this will be a tough fight. If I aggro three, I'm fucked. And then like a fuck, then like the fucking local mini boss gets pulled. Or like the, or like yeah, like the, the, when I was playing Classic WoW, the big struggle was that the local mini boss that I was trying to fight. Uh, I could never aggro him without pulling, like, two more adds with him, and it's like, no, I'm, tr I'm just trying to get him, he's my quest. But every time I, t every time I go after him, it aggros, like, an entire encampment of people, and they go, <laughs> You get those fucking I keep hearing my death. You get those sounds programmed into your brain, the way that they, a their aggro sound and their death sound, over and over again. God, death sounds. <laughs> <laughs> every single, just every single time. <laughs> just what they always sound like. Yeah, that's exactly what they sound like. <laughs> it's, it's just the thing that only can happen if you've just heard it over and over again. Like every time you aggro a, a human, they go, huh. Then every time they, they die, then they die and they go, huh. <laughs> it's just the same <laughs> fucking noise. Hey, leave my poor hut alone. Let's see. Oh god, they're all respawning all right. on the way out. Hello, I gotta be for you. Ten? Oh. Is it even <laughs> worth learning? Yeah, it is actually worth. Dang it. Um. Oh, I still have plenty of Makoto grass, though. Right, Duragon C Makoto. <laughs> this is a no joke stream, please. <laughs> there, sir, there are children here. Ooh, just made some high quality yarn. Wow, like what a is, good, what is like a good, like a good story. No. <laughs> No. Excuse me. Stop, don't look at me. Stop oh. it. Please stop it. Please, sir, no more. Alright, back to reading dialogue. Needed them. Oh, now I've got to go into an instance. Jesus. Goodbye, everyone. It's loading. For context, if I didn't mention it in the video, because I don't know if I did. There's been a lot of edits. Uh, most of my internet is broken. But for, I can just barely use Discord in the game, but my browsers don't work. So that's why some of these loading screens are like suddenly way longer than normal. Like weirdly long. Excellent work, Zev. All that's left is to have Master Harmon come and train. What are you doing here? That adventure is a negative influence on Master Hammon. I'm going to see that he never bothers him again. Am I about to punch a child with gremlin dogs? What are you talking about? Zev's the best thing that happened to Master in years. If you want a piece of him, you have to deal with me too. I'm gonna murder this child. Gonna feel great. Stupid nerd. I should be using my AoE now. Which is now down on the D-pad because I haven't remapped it yet. Yep, there we go. It's like a ground pound AoE. That's neat. Boom. You've come into the wrong neighborhood, sir. Wait, you have more ads? Stop it. 
Instead of having more head, adds ru ru kuta torn star. What? What is that name? Why was my attack going off? That was weird. Wait, I'm not changing stances when I hit my buttons. What's the deal with that? Weird. And my stances aren't working. Is it because I'm missing? I don't really... That's new to me. Ah, oh, goddammit. Select an enemy. There we go. Gotta fight all these ads. I've let them stack up too much and I'm gonna die now. Oh god, they're getting bigger! Wow. Like a big gang of incoming attackers. Keep getting bigger and scale you. There we go. Getting better at using my new AoE mid combo. Er, to start each combo. Does more damage to these guys each time. There we go. Oh, Choo Choo to beat him. I guess it should just focus on the adds the whole time. Because that guy was level 40. I guess missing attacks makes my stances not change, which is a little frustrating. I'm gonna keep, keep an eye on that. Why, Rurukuda? Why are you so bent on bringing down Master Hammond and, and seeing the guild in ruins? You have it all wrong. I'm doing this for Master's own sake. It's true I left the guild for the shock of seeing Master in that pathetic state. And it's true I've gotten involved in some unsavory types. But where else was I supposed to go? Me, a refugee without a guild to his name. For all the ungrateful things I've done, I've never forgotten how Master Hammond took me in and instructed me in the ways of the Fist. That is why I want him to give up his foolish notion of facing Wegfar. You don't know the man like I do, Chuchuto. Should this fight come to pass, I fear Master won't walk away with his life. It doesn't matter that Master has grown weak and feeble. I just want him to live, and if that means having to swallow- even if that means having to swallow his pride. Oh, Rurukuta, why didn't you just say so? Now that I know your mind, I can say with confidence that you have no cause to fear. Zev is no plague that you think he is. It's his will to succeed that's inspiring Master to regain his former strength. And when the day to re the rematch finally comes, I've no doubt he'll wallop that odious Wegfar to the seventh hell and back. They really started this at the lowest possible level where he literally couldn't even defeat like a rodent, so that's gonna be rough. I pray you're right, but whatever happens, I know that I cannot help you. Not where I am. Chututo, Zev, I leave Master Hammond in your care. They walk like babies. Gods, that felt liberating. Trading blows with Rurukuda and learning his true agenda. A great burden has been lifted off my chest. Let us return to the guild, Zev. You've had your training, and now it's time for Master Hammond's. There's still more of this to go. Nope, we didn't warp back. Now I'll go back to Nald, but this time because I mean to and not because I've died. I need to visit a repair person, probably. I think I've been burning through some of my money supplies <laughs> with all these deaths and teleports because every teleport costs like 500 I want to say not this one though because that's the return to home one Welcome back, Zev. I'm told you've kindly set up some dummies for me. But gods, man, did you have to put them in such a dangerous places? To make matters worse, worse Chuchuto's hidden my grog and says I won't see a drop of it till I've finished training. How the hells am I supposed to loosen my phlegm now? <laughs> that girl will make a fine guildmaster when the time comes. I've heard Rurukuda about Rurukuda as well. 
Of course, for all his shortcomings, the boy has a good heart. But while his concern is touching, I, I won't run from Wegfar. Not today, not ever. On that note, I'd best get my little jaunt. Uh, get, go, I'd best get ready for my little jaunt to little Alamigo. If I can't face down a few mindless beasts, I'm in no shape to challenge Wegfar. Don't slack off, Zev. Or I'll leave you in my dusty wake. The mindless beasts are not the threat. All the most defended places were full of enemy soldiers. That was the problem. Which of you gives me the most pluses? You do. The helmet. Helmets, which I can't see, but I'm supposedly wearing. Next one is level 30. That'll be a bit. Alright. Hello! Oh, Welcome back. back. That Hi. took an eternity. Usually does. We did it. Now it's time to talk to Painted Mesa. How was that again? <laughs> oh wait, that was oh yeah, that was here, huh? Right, we're, right. We were doing local quests in Ulda. You saying here like I know what that means? What? Painted Mesa is the main quest we were on. No. Yeah. No. It was. Remember? We just did an instance for him. I don't believe you. And we had talked to Painted Pain Mesa was the guy where I started running out of the inn and you guys like and you guys were like, wait, he's right here. No. And Effie gave him a voice, and then I was like, Am I taller or shorter than him? <laughs> I'm not Do you want to go turn this in? Or is that what yep. we're doing? Oh no, failure. Oh no. Yeah. Oh, it's so worthless. All right. Oh, you guys are already in a party. Um, gotcha. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Invite Keith, I guess. I guess we can invite him. That loser. God. Why well, do even put up with him? Let's see. Adventures Guild. Did I just accept? Did I just decline? Oh, I accepted it now. Yeah, <laughs> I was you, changing. You, my might, you can accidentally like press B and it'll go away. Yeah, I was uh doing the recommended gear button, and I think a different pop up came up at the same time, and I, so I like declined the party. All right, I'm ready. Oh, level, a level oh. sync is effect. All that build up to a quest you have to do solo. Oh. <laughs> All right, see you guys. See you guys. <laughs> uh. Ah, the conqueror of Copper Bell returns. Thanks to you, our mining operations can resume, and Ulda will have the materials she needs to rebuild. The entire nation's in your debt, friend. I'll share the good time with Papa Shaw next time I see him. As for you, you want to report to Momodi. It, it'll do the woman well to see you alive and in one piece. Sure is a lack of multiplayer in this MMO. Is that my mode? Nope. It's some white mage. Oh, look at this guy. Shut your mouth, you thieving little swine. You stole from me. Don't even think to deny it. Please, sir, I didn't steal nothing. I, I bought this and paid it with my own coin. What rot? You refugees are all the same. Couldn't afford maggoty mole meat, much less a choice cut of dodo. I'm gonna say it one more time. Give back what you stole or, or I'll make you wish you'd never set foot in this town. By your rights, I should turn you over to the brass blades. You know, keep the streets safe for law-abiding citizens. But I'm a reasonable man. If you help, if you agree to serve me in whatever capacity I require, the authorities don't need to hear of your crime. 
This sounds very iffy. Like, in a, that sounds distressing. Oh no. But I ain't done nothing wrong. Twelve is my, twelve is my witness. You, blue one, <laughs> save me. Please, adventurer, help me, I beg of ye. I swear on my mother's grave, I didn't steal nothing. I, bu I bought this with the coin I've saved. I, I only wanted to treat my children to a decent meal. And who the hells are you when you when you're at home? This dog's master. I've had enough of this mummer's farce. You t you lot, teach them a lesson. I never heard of mummer's farce until they kept saying it in Game of Thrones, but I guess it's a thing because they're saying it here too. Like mummers are like actors, I think. So a farce is like a play. Perhaps like a comedy, because like a, a farce is a kind of thing. Oops. Sup? Fuck you. He's only level 11. What? Are the other ones going to get stronger? Dude, he's got tons of health though. I guess that I'll be at this for a while. Pretty bullet spongy. I guess he's doing dialogue, but I can't really read that in the middle of this. I gotta keep my rotation up. Please don't heal him. That'd be very rude. Now you get to get beaten up next. Oh, this guy, these guys have no health. Why was that one guy so strong? These guys are like babies. Why am I so overleveled? Duty complete. It's weird how shirts flare out of the bottom on Rothgar. There's like a hitbox. There's some sort of like their their like their rig is weird. I ain't getting paid enough for this. Hey, where the hell do you think you're going? Thank you, kind adventurer. Thank you twice over. Oh, doing one of these again. Really unfortunate how I keep passing out in the middle of dangerous situations where somebody might try to murder me. You'd think that would kind of like Darwin me out of being an adventurer pretty quickly. I'd swear there were more refugees than when I last looked. And you wouldn't be mistaken. But it's been five years since the Calamity. Why are they only coming here now? It's simple, really. While a number of hamlets survived the immediate aftermath of the Calamity, many were no longer able to support their communities. The residents found their lands had either been rendered barren or cut off from, northern, from trade routes. And problems like those aren't easily solved. Though they tried to make the best of it, it was only a matter of time before they were forced to abandon their homes and seek a new life in the city. I see. But the Calamity affected the whole realm, didn't it? Is the same thing happening in other cities? If the talk is true, yes. Though perhaps our situation is more pronounced. Olda has a reputation for being prosperous, so it's natural the refugees would try to l their luck there first. My heart goes out to them, it truly does. But I'd be lying if I said I wasn't apprehensive. I found the presence doesn't ferment lawlessness in the city. Well, if things take a turn for the worse, we always have the immortal flames. I dare say the brass blades would welcome their help. 
The heroes who fought the Garlean Empire, patrolling the streets for Riff Raff? It may well come to that. Impoverished and desperate as they are, you may be sure that some of the refugees will turn to crime. You know what this place is like. If they've no coin, they've no hope. <sighs> what will become of our city? Not all refugees are bad. Some are able to find employment and lead honest lives. Dodo tenderloins? Get your dodo tenderloins. Graduate a guaranteed cheapest in Thanalan. Thank you for your custom, madam. Please come again. Looking around, you think that Olda was well on its way to recovery. But peer through the veil of prosperity and you'll see no end to the misery and suffering. Uh, sir, are you all right? Oh, I didn't even fall over this time. I'm getting better at this. What now? You mean to threaten a defenseless citizen? What? Saw her buy that meat, you say? That's absurd. Aye, as did I. Leave the poor woman alone, you damned vulture. Who said that? I'm still not sure. Is it Momodi? Is he gonna, is he gonna look down? Is that the joke? Or some ra- oh, it's just a random person? Uh, I'll overlook this, but just this once. That was just an entirely false conflict. Alright. God bless you, adventurer. If you hadn't come along when you did, who knows what that monster might have done. I don't bear to thinking about. Was a single person in that entire quest a character we'll ever see again? Because they seem like a bunch of randos. Um, I, like, nobody even had names. <laughs> All's well that ends well. But who? Oh, it's that guy. We meet again. Pray do not mistake my intent, for it was always honorable. But I have been watching you ever since you departed Ulda. You played the part of envoy to perfection, confident as a man of a diplomatic mission should be, yet unfailingly courteous of your betters. And when your travels led you into the midst of danger, you faced it without so much as a flinch. You, my friend, are quite a marvel, and I, inc I confess to being somewhat in awe of you. Ah, but my lavish praise continues. Most of all, I was struck by your readiness to aid to those in need, even when words were all the reward you could expect to, to receive. Such selfishness is a rare thing in this day and age. All of which leads me to conclude that you are indeed the one who I have been looking for, an adventurer possessed of a very rare set of qualities. To be sure, your rescue of that damsel in distress was more than a happy accident, but rescue you her, rescue her you did, and that is what matters in the end. I feel I should mention at this point that I also harbor a burning interest in a certain talent of yours. I speak of your visions. You have been experiencing visions, have you not? Well, it just so happens that I know a woman who shares your talent, and can help you to understand it. She and I belong to the same organization, and we should both be delighted to be beyond words if you would agree to join our cause. Naturally, there are benefits to being part of such a collective. For one, we should be glad to assist you in realizing your potential as an adventurer. You need not give your answer now. Think upon it. And, you, and if you feel moved to help us, and I pray you shall, speak to Momoti, the ever-lovely and youthful mistress of the quicksand.
Tell her the scions of the Seventh Dawn have found their man, and she will tell you where to find us. Da 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 da! We we did it. All right. Well, that's another solo segment done. Was it worth it? Was it worth it in the end? So it's time to talk to Mamudi again. Did you guys do it already or not? Uh, no, I haven't talked to Mamudi. That quest was weird. You fight some random yeah, ruffians, a... and every character doesn't even have a name, and seems like they'll never come up again, and the ruffians are only, like, level 11? And I'm like, wait, what? What? <laughs> you can't fight this... You can't fight this sooner. They're just not leveled for the... The, the quest. I it's think, just weird. I think the... I, yeah, the idea was basically to... Yeah, to just, like make you feel way more powerful than you were i guess so but that one guy that guy, one guy was incredibly tanky and both of his ads were dead in one hit basically so it was even weirder yeah yeah i have like an aoe attack so i just ran over uh to the ads. Yeah. Shit. Hmm. Right. scenes like that are becoming ever more common i'm afraid don't worry though if you work hard you'll be you'll probably be all right Saying that, if you ever find yourself in a spot of bother, come and see me. Just don't go pestering me every time you graze your knee, eh? Of course, I do enjoy hearing tale of a gentleman's woes with the women folk from time to time. What? Ah, hero. Sorry to keep you waiting. I was just providing guidance to a fresh off the carriage adventurer. Remember? You earlier? Oh. My arms are as big as her entire character. Yeah. I mean... But guys, it's good to see you stay safe and well. To look at you, no one would ever guess you'd been uh, been hard at it with giants in the dark. What does that mean? <laughs> what? You don't want to know? I've never doubted for... I love for hearing a... about your women's <laughs> troubles. <laughs> I, want, I want to see you dance with the wolves in the, in the, in the pale moonlight. <laughs> I've never doubted for a moment that you'd succeeded, of course, uh, and neither did Papa Sean, which ain't to say he, he won't be overjoyed. Oh, before I forget, there's a lass here who wants a word with you. Didn't actually know your name, but hearing her description, I knew who she meant right away. Who? Who the... Edda? Oh, uh... no, not you. I don't is remember her. Same... Wait, is this, is this the, the same healer? Yeah. Yes, there it is. <laughs> the guy with it. Yep. The one who was carrying oh around God. the buddy's head. Oh. Awesome. Oh no. <laughs> Thank you for sparing the time. I realize you don't know me, but I've been longing to speak with you for a while now. Oh. Uh. God. <laughs> please, please stop. Just, just stop. <laughs> just read normally, please. My name is Edda. <laughs> I'm an adventurer like you, though I'm not very good at being. Truth be told. Anyway, I was adventuring with my friends in Gridania when. <laughs> I'm sorry, we were in Gridania when the leader of the party was killed. <laughs> His name was Avery, and he and I were to be wed in this thing. <laughs> Fuck, I'm sorry, dude. Like, you got a, you got a lucky oh. break there. You may not remember him, but to say that he remembered you would be an understatement. He would sing your praises from dawn to dusk. He saw you for what you were. You see, an adventurous adventurer, and swore that he would be like you one day. Discord does not like this voice. It's yeah, like, no, he really sorry. doesn't. It, also, it, like, this it poor actually, guy. It straight up mutes you periodically because you're so because you're like so loud. <laughs> Yeah, I'm sorry. Also, this I poor bastard. I'm afraid that robbed him of a chance. Since that day, I have felt long and hard about giving up adventuring. But when I think of the woman you are, of all that you've achieved, I find that I'm as just as Avery once was. Is that better? I, the yeah. word "inspired" didn't transmit. Like it just keeps no. it keeps dropping words completely for this voice. Great. Just turn off the advanced filtering for it, and you should be fine. That's probably what's doing it. 
Do I have advanced filtering? It it I think it auto turned it on. What a what a fantastic system we live in. I know, right? All right. Uh, let's see, let's see if this works. Then Skeet decided to start again as an adventurer. I will go back to the village of my birth and begin my training. Better. A little bit. <laughs> the word "anew" just vanished. <laughs> Great. <laughs> but I want to meet you first. To ask your name. Hero. Hero, I shan't forget. Thank you, Hero. I pray that we will meet again. Fare you well. Oh, your poor microphone. <laughs> this keeps. Nope. Adventure can be a cruel, bleeding business. Time was, I didn't know why anyone would, would bother. When they first asked me to take charge of the guild here, I didn't want aught to do with you lot. Though it'd be a, a right pain in the ass looking after you all. But against my better judgment, I, de I decided to accept the post, and I'm full glad I did. I feel privileged to be a part of your lives. And that goes double for yours, hero. <laughs> huh? What'd you say? You want to know about the Scions of the Seventh Dawn? Just let me say things. What? <laughs> that, that you people do. The people like repeat shit back at me like I'm Pokemon, like I'm Chewbacca and I have to be interpreted. Once you have people <laughs> repeating stuff so they can explain what you're saying, they might as well just let you have fucking dialogue. What is the, I don't know why they do this. It's so weird. It's really weird because they have voices that you pick for your character, but they didn't want to record the lines. <laughs> yeah, they're just pain noises basically. And <laughs> but then it, yeah, but then it begs the question like why did you have so many then like you could have limited the voices to like three Well, the reason, the, reason, the reason they can have so many is because acting. they're just noises Well, yeah, that's what I'm saying You just lower the amount and then just have voice acting and like three or four like, of them at a time are just the same voice actor <laughs> Just doing different voices Yeah, yeah, they begin to move in earnest then earnest then Listen here. Also, hero. the science ain't no ordinary to, folk. What's up? I was gonna say half the fucking time no one has voice acting anyways. Just give dialogue choice. Like, just put dialogue boxes. Yeah. Like, can I be done with this now, please? No. Okay. The science ain't no ordinary folk, and the work they they do ain't no ordinary work. I know full well how capable you are, but even you would think twice about attempting some of the stuff that they do. Knowing that, if you're still certain you want to get involved, I'll tell you what I can. Quest complete. <clears throat> you think that happens in real life? So do we want to accept like, the quest next session then? I think that would be best. Is that the goal? Level 26 sign out, Thunder 2. Nice. That guy is just straight up wearing Dante's cape. Or Dante's jacket. Yeah. Like that's, that's just a Devil May Cry costume right there. Yeah. Well, yeah, why not? Good night, everybody. Indeed. Good night, gentlemen. Have a good night. I'm going to go lay down in bed because I just remembered that's a thing. <laughs> that's just a nice <laughs> way to end much to end, have you? It's just a nice way to end the video. No, I, 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 I've i been logging out. Oh, the, you, at the you've inn. been logging out in the inn? Yeah. yeah. So if you log gotcha. out at the bed, then you actually, you actually lay down. And you wake up there, too. Yeah. Yep. But you have to do like a whole animation for it. And add this to the lame. list of games, which is most games, where you sleep on top of the covers. <laughs>